Welcome to a, another live stream. Once again, going to be playing some Animal Crossing, doing some big upgrades around the island. I've been doing a, a whole load of uh, of rearranging. Uh, I'll talk you through it, but it's been a mess. My island, it's annoyed like that I, my island's been a mess the last few days. And it's just so happened that like, I had several like, hangout sessions in Animal Crossing with friend. And then yesterday I ended up like hosting like an Animal Crossing party, basically, where I had like a whole bunch of uh, of people coming uh, to visit the island. And I was just like the whole time like, oh, it won't be like this. This is all a mess right now. And these flowers, I've just had to remove them all and stuff. So it's been like a bit of a building site for the, the last few days. But it's all been me preparing and setting up and uh, getting ready for today. So hopefully by the end of today, I will... Once again, be proud of my lovely island. Uh, how's everyone doing, by the way? Hello to uh, Kate G and Toby Clark, Mr. Pengu, David Van Plays. Hello, Roxy. Hello, uh, Kermit. <laughs> Kermit the Frog, didn't know you watched my streams. Hello, Toasted Toast, who says they're doing good. Uh, hello, Universe of Trees. Uh, I saw you uh, became a member just before the, uh, before the, the stream. There's um there's some new emojis. Oh yeah, Freya just did them. I got some look, let me do them in the chat. I got an Alex emoji. I know it, when I'm saying this they won't be coming at the same time. And I got an Ori emoji. And speaking of Alex, we may have an Alex cam. She's down here right now cuz she knows I have a, a treat. Should we do a should we do an update on her snoot <coughs> progress? Oh no, there's there's a I don't, there must be a new dog somewhere. There used to not be that many dogs barking around here, but there's a dog really close somewhere that just keeps barking. And Alex normally doesn't really bark, but like this dog in particular, when when they start barking, Alex barks back. Uh, but yeah, if you don't know what Snoot is, basically I say Snoot, and then if Alex is a good girl, she'll run up and she'll put her little nose in my finger, and it's just cute. It's just a cute trick. And uh, I've been document. I've been documenting uh, her progress learning the, the trick. So uh, we'll see how well she does it. Right, stay. Stay, 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 stay. Don't move, don't move. Right. Stay. Alex, snoot. Yeah! Uh, she's got it. Like, she's got it now. We're done, right? She can snoot. She can snoot. She can just do it. What a good little girl. <laughs> Thank you as well to, uh, to Tyler for the donation. He says, uh, how uh, are you and Squishy and Alex doing? Uh, we're all doing good. We just got uh, back a couple hours ago from a, a nice walk together. We're doing fine, considering all of the, the circumstances. Uh, thank you as well to uh, to Siege Gethins, I think that's how you pronounce it. CG Gethins, uh, maybe. Uh, who uh, says the time in Wales, which is the same time as me. Uh, I'm not that far from Wales, actually. And thank you as well to, uh, to Naruto uh, as well for the uh, the donation. Uh, right then, let's get into the, uh, the game. I've just been... Relaxing <laughs> in my in my office. I realized I, did, I didn't stream last night, so we missed the uh, the KK slider gig. But I got a pretty awesome um a pretty awesome song. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've changed anything in my in my office. Oh, I have. I have changed my games room a little bit. So uh, one of the people that came over yesterday was Ewan, and uh, I uh, in my stream I had I had like a corner sofa. And so you know the sofas that kind of go around like on the corner. You understand what a corner sofa is. And I had the corner bit, but not the, the straight bit, which really annoyed me. And then um, something called Duck tweeted me and said that uh, she and her son Ewan, they had the uh, the straight bit. Uh, would they want me to come round and give it to me? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> so I sent out a dodo code. And uh, they gave me loads of stuff as well. So I now have the corner sofa. I'm going to order in the catalogue uh, another straight bit. So I'm going to move this spotlight and have it so it goes round to, to here. Like I can move this guitar down a little bit, maybe. Uh, I'll rearrange some things. So I'm going to have like a full corner area here. Uh, this dartboard... I got, oh, can I not fit through here? That's a bit annoying. I could turn this, um, I could turn this around. I got rid of the, uh, the table, tennis table. I liked it, but they just, it was just, there just wasn't enough room. So I'm gonna like have it, like I might have like an outdoor area because a lot of table tennis you have outdoors. So I think I'll find another place for that. I mean, yeah, this dartboard I got from a balloon, like straight after I finished the, uh, the last stream. 
Uh, and then Hewan also gave me this uh, this bench, this like arcade seat, which is pretty awesome. And then on the same day in the shop, I found the blue one. So it's kind of like red versus blue. And some of you who watched the, uh, the stream when I built this and we had a big debate whether I should have rubber floor or carpet. Uh, I switched it to carpet. I think I think I'm just gonna. I couldn't decide either way, so um, I think I'm just gonna like keep switching back and forth. God, it looks really really dark on the screen, doesn't it? It's quite cool. It looks like it's my TV's much brighter. It actually looks better when it's like this dark. So sorry, all of the the rubber gang carpet gang has won for now, but I'll keep switching back and forth. Uh, I also bought this uh, this gumball machine. Uh, from my friend's world uh, as well, which I think just fits in really, really nicely. Uh, I got a crown that I've hung up on the, the wall. I got more of the spotlights. Uh, then I got this cool, like, uh, golden dung beetle uh, as well, which I've uh, put on uh, on display here. So, uh, yeah, this is the uh, the game's room for for now. Oh, yeah, something else I need to show you. So, I showed Stacy the, uh, the poo shrine. You may remember that for a long time, I've been... Uh, building a poo shrine for Stacy, who gave me a poo as a present. So uh, she came over and I, I took a picture of her. This is her reaction to seeing the poo shrine, which is, I think, a, <laughs> a pretty appropriate reaction. It just makes me laugh because I'm just so like innocently smiling and she's just like, oh, Stampy, what have you done? Uh, <laughs> and then she sent me this, she sent me this letter and said, Dear Stampy, I am impressed and worried by your poo shrine. This is to remind you that I'm not only a fan of any old poo, but sp specifically very old poo. Uh, Coporolite, aka fossilized dinosaur excrement. So she, I think she just wanted to make people realize she hasn't got an obsession with poo. It does, to be fair, she did sign it from Poo Queen Stacy Plays. So, <laughs> but with that, she sent me a present and she said to me, it's a present that will be good for what I'm doing in my next stream. So make sure you open it in the stream. And I was like, okay, I'll take it out the letter and I'll just drop it in my storage here. But oh yeah, I bought my turnips. I bought my turnips. So I did that. Then I realized I, I, when you have a present that's not wrapped, you can't drop it on the floor. So I accidentally opened it. So I've already seen what it is. But it is perfect for what we're going to be doing to uh, today. So we're going to be designing like outside the uh, the front of the, the museum. Uh, she sent me this. How awesome is this thing? So I think I'm going to drop off my turnips, then I'm going to go bring it later. And there's also, I can craft kind of like a uh, a cardboard cutout bush as well, which I think will like fit really well with it. Uh, I also got another poo. <laughs> I got a second uh, dinosaur fossilized poo uh, as well. So maybe we could have like some display uh, of them. Uh, I think it's just something that would fit really well. So I did load up the game earlier today, but just to buy turnips. I have not done anything else in the world today. So we're, we're basically starting off fresh. I had okay turnip prices. Um, oh, are my pockets full already? I guess we're, I guess we'll rebury the, the fossil. I'll dig that up again in a second. Oh no, I'm not, I'm not even gonna be able to pick up the, Oh my, <laughs> right, we really need to drop off these turnips before we do anything else. So I've tried to set it up so I can just stand in a few places and drop them. Oh, it's because I picked up the, the fence. Oh uh, yeah, it was um 93 bells uh, per turnip or per 10 turnip, is it? So which is okay, anything less than 100, I'm fine with. So uh, yeah, I've got all of my turnips. As always, if uh, any of you have particularly good turnip prices, Give me a call. <laughs> I'll be over. Uh, my friend actually uh, had turnips for sale for like 600 bells. So I actually made loads of money on uh, on turnips this week. So that was uh, that was pretty good. Thank you to, uh, to Roblox Rock who says uh, the chat is so fast. Uh, Alex is so cute. Be safe. Both of those both of those things are true. Uh, thank you uh, as well, Michaela, who says what mythical animal would you be? Something that can fly. I wouldn't want to be like, maybe like a baby dragon would be cool. Or like a small dragon. So I can fly, I can breathe fire to make lovely toast. But like, I wouldn't get like stuck everywhere. Like unicorn I think sounds cool, but I think I'd like keep banging my horn on stuff and I like, I go through a doorway, I'll be like, oh, my stupid horn. <laughs> so yeah, I think a small, a small dragon would be cool. Uh, Renmore boy as well. You are now, a, you are now a member, welcome. I hope you enjoy being an egg while you are an egg. 
Right, all of my my turnips away. For those that haven't seen this, this is my uh, this is my turnip prison. <laughs> I got a um, I got a few golden roses, by the way. I don't know if there's any here. Ah, oh, there's not sadly any here. Um, but yeah, I gave them away. I gave I gave them to some of my friends. Some of my friends were visiting my island for the first time. And every time someone visits, I'm always like, I gotta get them a present. Then I always look for my like stuff and I'm like, oh, all I've got is like, I don't know, like coffee grinders and like stuff. I'm like, what would be a cool present? So I gave them, I gave them some golden roses. And uh, I think they appreciated the golden roses. So I think they're worth quite a lot, but they just look cool. And they're just like quite a, a painter to make. So I think if someone gives you, if someone gives you golden roses, you'll appreciate it. Right, for, th for those just joining, I guess I'll explain what the uh, the plan for today is in Animal Crossing. So I've been moving around my town. So basically what I've been doing is the museum, the clothes shop, and the normal shop. I've moved them all like slightly back from the path to allow myself to have a bit ro of room in front of them to kind of have like a, a bit of like a, a courtyard area. So I can kind of have like... Almost like outside sections for the, the shop and then just a bit of a display for the, the museum. And it was a bit annoying because obviously like you got to pay every day that you do it. And then like, ah, uh, the shop was the worst. So the shop, I had to move it like three spaces back. But when you do it, you mark where you want the new place to be. But while you're doing that, the old location where the shop is, obviously it's still there. And because I was only moving it slightly black back, the old shop was still in the way. Which meant I had to, let me show, I took a picture of it. I had to move the shop completely like miles away. So it's just in the middle of a field like this. I moved it all the way over here by itself. Just so then the next day it could have been moved back. So this is where my shop was yesterday. Completely out of the way in the middle of nowhere. I don't think if there's any other fun pictures to, to show you. I took this yesterday. It just made me laugh. I was running around with the, the thing there. I put my little, poke my little head around. I took this one just because it was like really nice light. It was like really like sunny. And I, had, I was in a place with loads of flowers. So I thought I'd take a, a picture there. This is me and Squashy having a really boring date. Where like she's fallen asleep and I'm just like heartbroken. Uh, this was yesterday. We had some, uh, some friends. Uh, dr dr uh, visiting. There's you in there, uh, my friend Liam, and that's Wizard Keen. I invited him over because I had the uh, the wizard hat for him and uh, some mu mushroom carpet as well. <laughs> oh, we had a uh, we had a return of the uh, the coconut bandit. <laughs> so I changed to uh, to Super Stampy, and uh, I think Duck turned to Super Duck. I think it was who they turned to. Oh yeah, oh that was, and they looked really similar, so I can't get them, oh Super Bunny, that's what it was. So we had to, to try, to try, to try and hunt down the coconut bandit. So, if, you, if you've noticed I'm losing all of the coconuts on my tree, that's because the, uh, the coconut bandit returned. Uh, this is just uh, me and my mate playing in the, in the games room. Uh, we all got these little, uh, these little like flower umbrellas. This is really cool. This is in Stacy's house. She's got a highway room. She's got one of her room that just looks like a highway. Oh, this was during a uh, during Squishy stream. You might have seen that she built a spa like in the uh, the basement of her house. That was just us uh, having a bit of a, a relaxing time there. Yeah, I can't stream Animal Crossing all the time, so I've got to kind of got to uh, keep showing you. Oh, who replaced Mac? Prince Computer Games asked. Ah. There's a story to that. There's a story to everything that happens on my Animal Crossing world. So I actually got, I'll, I'll introduce you to him soon. I got Elvis, who is a lion and was actually someone who left Squashy's world. And like Squashy really liked him, but he said he wanted to move on. And she was like, okay, you can move on. And now he's moved to my world and it's cool. And he actually remembers me. He's like, oh, hi, Stampy. Like, I remember like when you visited before. So uh, I'll go and, uh, show you him soon once I've gathered my fruit and done my uh, my rocks and got the fossils and stuff. Get my morning routine out of the way. Uh, as you can see, I've also built a new incline. So after today, once I've finished doing the town, uh, once I've grabbed these last few fruits, so I'm so slow. It's because I'm, I, I always like gather wood at the same time as getting the fruit. I think this is the most efficient way to do it because it helps you like keep track of like which trees you've already cut and stuff. 
And it means like you've always got loads of wood. You'd like never I never need to worry about going out of my way to get wood if I do this every day. And like instead of shaking the tree when you hit it with the axe, they fall off anyway. Uh, but yeah, I think after I do the town, the next area I'm gonna do is like kind of like the mountainy areas around the poo shrine, and then there's like the courtyard around the back. Um, well, let me just <laughs> like I like my orchard, but it is it is a bit of a pain with like the fence right next to it. But I really don't have any spare room to to move it now. So yeah, I got I added this ramp in yesterday. This is my first time seeing it actually. So this is gonna go up. Then I think probably like here, there'd be another ramp leading up. And you can see it's a bit of a mess at the top now. I just put all the candles and that there. And there was flowers along here. But yeah, I'm gonna decorate that area there as a bit of a picnic area. And then there's this place around the, the back as well, which I need to decorate. Uh, Craven, thank you for becoming a, a member. Uh, a member? Thank you for becoming a member. That sounds like a little, a little furry creature with a tiny beak. I'm a member. <laughs> Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you as well to, to Raphael. Says, uh, have a good day. You're my favorite YouTuber. Thank you so much. Uh, Saskia here is uh, as well. Uh, they can't stay because they need their daily walk, but hello. Hello, welcome. Uh, thank you so much as well to uh, the trailers and movies. Welcome back to the, the stream. I remember you from before. Says, uh, Stampy, do you miss the, uh, the 20 block challenge? Yes and no. Like, I miss it because it was really fun. But it was also one of my more stressful challenges. So basically, I had to complete a whole list of challenges that I made up for myself. Um, I think I'm going to leave those peaches there because they look cool. And I'm lazy. Uh, yeah, I had to complete a whole bunch of challenges. But I could only place down 20 blocks. And it's so horrible because I got such muscle memory in Minecraft. Just, you know, it's Minecraft to place blocks. And like, there was a few times when, just without thinking, I'd go to like climb up somewhere and I'll just place a block without thinking about it. So it was a tricky challenge, but it was a good fun one. Uh, thank you as well, Stumpy Longhead fan, which is their name, just not what they are. <laughs> Thanks for the other uh, donation. Here's Elvis. He's found one of the, the fossils for me. This is the other uh, new member. Hello, Elvis. Say hello to the stream. Yeah, they got like a really deep voice. Oh, hey, it's you. Now, did I turn off the stove before I left home? That's assuming I have a stove at home, mind you. Pretty sure I got a home at least. <laughs> so Squishy said he was like a bit of like a dad figure on her island. I would always like make sure she's doing okay. I know I wanted one of like the little cute hamster ones or something, but he's cool. I've not really got anyone else on my island like him. Uh, what is Animal Crossing on, Tamarask? Uh, it's on a Nintendo Switch. Uh, this one uh, only. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go. Just sell this stuff. I think I'll leave the uh, the rocks and <laughs> here's my demon bunny just <laughs> just having something to, to eat sitting there. I do love it when the villagers are just like out and about doing things. Yeah, I think I'll leave the rocks and the other chores for now. So I want to start. I want to start building. So I guess we're, we'll donate the fossils. I'm actually what I'm doing like there's only a few fossils I've got left to donate. So I'm I'm actually like not just selling the fossils. I'm looking at what they are to see if any of them would be like. Um, good things to uh to leave to like display outside the the front. And uh, I've actually got a few things saved up in the the house. Thank you, Wally Cup, for the other uh, donation. Elvis is the king of red lion, says Julian. Uh, Stampy, are you British? I am from England. Thank you, Minecraft Plays, for becoming a new member. Uh, for those who weren't here earlier, there's a, um... Ooh, there's something I can donate here. Uh, there's a few new uh, emotes. I don't know if, uh, if my members want to do it. Uh, there's a few new uh, emotes for, um... Uh, for it. Uh, there's a, an Alex one, who is currently sleeping underneath me. Look, if you want to see Alex cam, I just throw a treat over my head, and then you'll, you'll see it. I'll throw it to the beanbag. There we go. <laughs> She's pretty sleepy right now though, so hopefully she'll just settle down somewhere in the, the background. Yeah, there we go. We've got uh, Alex and, uh, and Ori, Ori emo uh, emojis. 
Oh, look at that framing. Well, it's just sleeping down there. We will skip out on the uh, the dino facts for for now, though. Ah, oh, little cute puppers, says Felicia. <laughs> Right, what did uh, what did we get? Like when it's just like a torso? Well, yeah, when it's just like a body. These are always like way too big. Like, look, look at this thing. I mean, that would be a cool thing to have outside the front of the museum. But like, that's only half of it. We'd need to add like the wings and stuff, and it'd be like way too big. I want some of the the smaller ones so I actually have room to put them in. Ooh, like stuff like that. That's cool, isn't it? Right, I might not say. I might try and find like a pedestal or something to display that outside the the front. Would look good. Uh, yeah, let's see what's in the shop. Yeah, so this shop, it was here, and I moved it back to here, but I had to move it, like, miles away just so I could move it, like, a small amount. Uh, right, what do we have for sale today? Um, hmm. I might buy this toolbox for something unrelated to today. That I won't talk about. Something for in the future. This, um... Oh, God, look at this. <laughs> look at this clock. It's horrible. <laughs> this table could actually be... Oh, outdoor bench, sorry. This outdoor bench could be actually good to, like, display, like, shop items on outside the shop. I'll buy it as an option. It looks like it could be something used outdoors, so that kind of makes sense. Oh, look at puppy. Look at puppy lying down. She's so sleepy. Right, so I wanna I wanna keep you. I wanna sell you. And sell all my fruit. Right, I'm gonna grab uh, let's do let's do them one at a time. I wanna start off with the museum. Just cause that's been the the one that I've been the one I've been looking forward to doing the most, and it's also the one I, I, I feel like I know most what it's gonna be. And then for, um... Oh, <laughs> hello, Rocky. <laughs> That's talented to be singing and clapping. Yeah, for the, uh, the clothes shop, I think I'm going to, um... What I was thinking of doing is... Because a lot of, like, clothes shops... Actually, I can see what clothes there are. They have, like, cafes inside of them, like, as part of them. So I think I'm going to have, like, the, the tea shop and then the, the clothes shop is like one entity. Because they're also very close. And there's not like much room otherwise. And then I'm going to have like for like on display like a bunch of mannequins outside. So I can look at what clothes I have already. But if there's any other outfits I want I can buy stuff from here. Oh look at these things. These like samurai helmets. Some more cat noses. Cyber shades. Ooh look at these socks. These old neon tights. Yeah, so maybe, maybe we'll come back and buy some of this stuff later. Uh, yeah, I also need to speak to, um, to, to Sable more. Because at first she's like super shy and doesn't talk to you. But apparently, if you keep talking to her, she becomes really friendly. And then eventually, you can get like more different patterns and decorations when you customize stuff. And I want more stuff. Uh, hello, Nicholas. Welcome to the, the stream. Uh, as well as uh, Catherine, who says, uh, you're my favourite YouTuber. And uh, Amy Hughes, who's just become a member. And uh, Minecraft Plays as well. Hope you enjoy being eggs. Uh, Toby says, can you get uh, on the computer Animal Crossing? Sadly not. It's only on Switch. I am afraid to say it. Oh yeah, I ordered like a bunch of stuff as well. I don't know what's for today. Oh, I've got presents. Oh, Rocky sent me presents. Uh, oh yeah, I, I ordered the song. Yeah, I ordered a bunch of garden lanterns, which are just like those little white lights I've got around like the villager area. And I thought they could look good outside the museum if I have any room. Like I don't have loads of room. Uh, I got uh, 117,000 points. I got an S rank. You did it. On the occasion of earning a score above 100,000 points, please accept our congratulations on this special gift. I think it's going to be some sort of trophy. And I'll sprinkle, I'll sprinkle rights to me all the time. And I never write back. Maybe I should write back to her today. 
My special biscuit. <laughs> I've kept every note I've gotten from a friend. Oh, I never write anything. I totally have to rent uh, an off-island storage unit to hold those notes. But they're from friends, so it's worth the cost. <laughs> and oh, Duck sent me something. So Duck uh, are the people who um, are her and Ewan, who like gave me the, the stools and stuff as well. Uh, we thought this might go well in the games room. Right, I want to like open these presents separately because I want to keep track of like who got me what or as I'm going to get confused. Oh, so this is the, the trophy. And there's no room for me to place it. Let's find some room. I mean, that means it's a big trophy. Ah, oh, it's just a little house. Okay. That's kind of like the same as the other one. I had like the bronze one of it before. So this is from Dark. Oh, an exit sign. Oh, is that, like, is, oh is, that, is that one I can put on the wall? I, ho I really hope I, I like. I want more stuff up on the wall. I think it is because it won't let me place it. That could be really cool. Amy says, I love being an egg. <laughs> You're living the life. <laughs> Hi, I'm watching. Here's a, a pocket, oh, pocket camp exclusive. Oh yeah, they sent me a, um, Rocky sent me a, a sign for the, um, for my campsite that looked really cool. Whoa, my God. How cool is this? Oh, is it? You know, it's really great getting all these things, but everyone keeps getting me like really cool stuff for the games room. And I'm just running out of room so much. Oh, I didn't win. I didn't win. I gotta, I gotta find room for that though. That is so cool. So yeah, something that I didn't know is if you had the, uh, the, the pocket camp version of the, the game, then, um, the demon one is cute though. I can't help, uh, decorate if you need help. Uh, of literally Matt Damon the Dolphin King cam every 10 minutes lol. Well, she's just here. We don't need we got constant Matt Matt Damon the Dolphin King cam today Yeah, I just got I, I just got too much stuff in my games room Like it's a it's a great problem to, to have Oh wait a minute is this is this the clock that I just saw in the, in the shop just now are you in the uh, Are you in the the chat? Um, I was going to send you a football table. I best not, says Raider. <laughs> I th the problem is, is I, I really like... So I love pinball machines. Oh, and this is for by my museum. Oh, I think the, the clock was from uh, from Rocky. I'm losing. I've got too much stuff. It's a great problem to have. Yeah, I love pinball machines too much. So I've got to have all of them. Maybe I should, like, get rid of... Um, Oh, that's cool. Actually, I think I might already have that. Like, I, I have saved a few fossils. I have saved a few like that. Yeah, maybe I need to get a bit more variety in the games. Where I got loads of just the arcade machines and the uh, the pinball machines. Like, it's such a big room. I never really thought that it was going to get, like, filled up. All right, let's, uh, let's register the, the song. I don't think I'm... I, lo I love this song that plays when I come home. This one that's playing now. I don't know how well you can hear it. Let me turn the volume up a bit. Yeah, so I don't know if I'm ever going to change that song, but it's good to get, like, different songs for, like, other places and other rooms and stuff. Right, I'm going to put the, uh, the new stuff I got in the games room. And then I'm gonna, just going to go fully focused on the museum and make sure I at least get that done today. It's going to take a bit of work. But first I want to put that stuff in the games room because it looked really cool. Uh, hello Chicken Nugget, welcome back. It says, hi Stumpy. Uh, did you know if you turn on your TV at 3.33, you can contact aliens? Oh really? What? Like in Animal Crossing, I'm assuming. Oh, why is my TV off? What, does like a weird like channel come on? Oh, I, can I can just about reach the, uh, the switch for for that. <laughs> Thank you as well, uh, Gary. And uh, Aiden says, Hey Stavi, I've been watching you since 2015 and I'm from Australia. Always wanted uh, to have you know that. I'm now 17 and still love your beards. Thanks. Oh, thank you so much. And thank you for, for still watching. Oh yeah, I can put the exit sign on the wall. Oh, this is, this is exactly the kind of stuff I wanted. I guess I could put it right above the door. I know it's annoying that like you can't see it very much unless you spin the camera, but it just is so perfect for it. Right, how am I going to get this, uh, all right, I think I'm going to get rid of, um, i got, I got to get rid of these arcade machines. I think I'm going to get rid of this one, <laughs> because it just looks a bit more boring. It's kind of like a, 
I can't remember what the name of that game is, but you know it's like those blocks with the symbols on and you gotta like match them or something. Like it's a game I always see in like game collections, but I've never like actually played. So I'm sorry, but oh, I mean that game just looks so much cooler, doesn't it? I mean, I, I, I guess I could get rid of the guitar as well, maybe. I think this is looking okay for for now. It's just if we get anything else big. Okay, I think that's everything else that was meant to, to go in here. Oh, it's doing so cool. I just I love this place. This is like my favorite place to, to hang out in. Right, so the stuff I don't need, I put in storage. So that I want, and that I want. I need you, I need you. Don't need you. Need you, maybe. Don't need the uh, the cute clock. Don't need the tool box for today. Uh, I take the bench on me for for now. So I need to decide. I need to decide like what fences to have around. All uh, right, let's uh, let's decide. I don't think there's like a cinch, like a section just. Oh, what's this stuff? Oh, seasonal recipes. Yeah, I don't think there's a section just for the fence, fence fences that I can craft. Oh yeah, I can do a doghouse now. I was thinking of putting the. Uh, actually, I might craft that now. I was thinking of putting the doghouse near my turnip prison, as if it's like a guard dog. <laughs> I thought it would make me laugh. Which I know it would make me laugh. It just did make me laugh. So yeah, I might make the uh, the doghouse. We'll go do that. We'll go do that soon. Before we do everything else. I know I was like, right, I'm going to fully focus on doing the museum. And then I've decorated my games room and now I'm making a doghouse. <laughs> I'm not very good at staying focused, am I? I mean, you're, I'm sure you've been here for a while. You're used to it. You know what you've, uh, what you've come to, to expect. So there's the... I've used the country fence a lot. I think there isn't there like a like a metal fence. Oh, so there's the brick wall I could do, but I do have that round the town. I'm thinking the iron fence would look good, but the iron fence would also look good for um around the shop as well. It might even look better around the shop. There's like a straw fence which probably wouldn't fit in. There's hedges as an option. Uh, that wouldn't really work. I think for the museum... <laughs> look at that flooring. I'm in between the iron fence. Or maybe just... Oh no! Iron and stone! That would look cool! Do you think the I I think iron and stone for around the museum. And then iron for around the shop. Yeah? Like the normal shop. And then the clothes shop. We'll deal with later. Because I'm not sure what I'll do for that. Does that sound good? I've got too much stuff. Too much stuff. Right, I make, I make both the, uh, the iron and the stone and iron now. Just so I have them. So I could kind of at least work out where like... The fencing's going to be around the shop, just because it's going to be right next to the museum anyway. Yes, perfect. Everyone, everyone in agreement? Everyone happy with that? I didn't even know this fence was in the game. I don't think I've ever like, noticed this before. How many do I craft each time? Oh, ten. I think forty should be enough. I'll keep any spare. Uh, how do you get books? I can't find out how to. So I just keep buying them. Because I keep needing them for like bookcases and stacks of books and stuff. Ooh, yeah, that's another thing. Does anyone know or have a, uh, know how to get or have a, uh, a sphinx? Because I have one sphinx and I've been putting it on my beach. That's kind of where I've been saving it for now. But what I thought would be really cool is like in the entrance to the museum, either side, a sphinx on either side, I think would look awesome. But I have one and it's in the catalog, but it says like not available. And I have no idea where I got the first one. I can't craft it. Like literally, I have no idea where it, like where it came from. But I really want to, to have another one. But like, I don't know, is it like a special rare thing? 
Is it not available in the shop? Well, it's not in my shop now, and then normally, like, you can order things from the catalogue, and it just says, like, not available. But I think that would look awesome with, like, both of Like, I, I might find a place for just one of them. Oh, from Gulliver! That's where you get it from. Oh, that makes sense, because he's, like, travelling around the world, isn't it? Oh, is that the only place I can get one from? So I'm probably not going to get another one now, then. That, mate, I was so confused, because I was like, where did I get these things from? Where did I get it from? But yeah, no, Gulliver makes sense. Does anyone know where from Gulliver you get, like, you can get the same thing more than once? Because <laughs> that's what I'd want. You know what, I've not put any manhole covers anywhere. I'm going to put one of these around somewhere, just because I can't. You can't tell me not to. Um... These lights are cool, but I can't really put them anywhere outside. So I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna make those um I'm gonna make one of these these two D two D hedges. I need some soft wood to make that. And then I'm gonna look for like um like pedestal type things. I could make maybe like stone stools. Good work. Okay, let's just take out a bunch more materials, and then basically whatever I want to craft, I should have what I need. Eliza! Thank you for becoming a member. Welcome to the, uh, oh, what did I call it? Welcome to, like, the Stampster Squad or something that I was saying the other day when I was joking around. You're a Stampster! An Eggy Stampster! <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so there's the log stalls, but I think for the museum, which I'm trying to keep my focus on for now, but I keep drifting. Ooh, the, the, the log dining table could have stuff on it. But I kind of like keeping everything stone for this. Have some tire stacks, some bin bags. <laughs> Ooh, oh, look, this stone table. Oh, this is perfect. That just looks like a pedestal. And then I'll do a couple of these. I can come back and craft more if I need to, I guess. Or just go to the... Uh, the town center. So these are just things to put like fossils and stuff on for display. Uh, right, anything else that would be good for the museum? I mean, the armor wouldn't look too bad. Isn't this like crazy? Oh, for like, like that many gold nuggets? Maybe we'll see whether we have space. I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to make that. My friend gave me the recipe for this thing. Just kind of a bit mad. Yeah, I'm so glad there's this thing, that stone table. I might even end up using more of them. I'm just very conscious that I'm, like, getting a lot of stuff. And have pretty limited room while I'm over there. So I got all of the lights as well on me. And then I've got some fossils that I saved. Just look through here as well to see if there's anything else. Look at this flooring I got, by the way. Actually, let me just show you what on the floor. See how crazy this flooring is. <laughs> I kind of wish I had a room where I could put it on and all oh, my pockets are getting very full. But look at this floor. <laughs> it's kind of covered a bit by the rug. It's called an oasis. It's like in a desert with a little oasis down here. Oh, it does like ripples when you run over it as well. Oh, look, it actually does like sand, like footprints. How crazy is this floor? Maybe I should just like not have a bedroom and just find a, a place to have that crazy floor somewhere. There's got to be someone that wants it, though. I gotta. There's got to be someone who I can give that to that would find a good home for that floor. I think I got it from Sahara, I guess. Uh, oh, for those that are saying they don't have the uh, the join button, uh, but they want to become a member. Uh, if you're on mobile, like on the app, I believe it's just not there for you. But uh, people did have a... Oh, this table could work as well. That's more for the shop, though. We're, we're focused on the shop later. Uh, yeah, so, um... Uh, if you go on the, uh, like, the browser, like, of the of the phone or tablet or whatever, rather than the app, 
The join button should be there. It's basically meant to only be there on computers for some reason. For those that are confused trying to, to do that. Yeah, so here are some other fossils that I got from the other day. Oh, that's that's poo. That's another poo. I don't know. I got some more iron fences here as well. I didn't even know that I made them. Oh, there is the, uh, the rope fencing as well. I might grab that just so I can try it out. Uh, but let's go and actually start building something, shall we? Money! I'll do, I'll do this all later. I haven't done my rocks or anything yet today. I just realized I've been streaming for like... I've been streaming for 42 minutes. And I haven't even like... Like I've just put my turnips down, that's it. I've not put anything else down. I was hoping to get like... I, I was... I would be way too... Uh, way too... Oh, my little money patch down here. No, leave it! Leave it! I've been way too uh, ambitious for what I wanted to do today. This is going to be one of our last times seeing Pooh View Bridge, by the way, I'm afraid. The bridge will stay, but the the poo view is going to be replaced. Yeah, I wanted to get all of both shops done today and the museum and then do like the new shrine place and stuff. But I'm really not going to have time for that. Uh, where should I do this dog house? I want it to be as if it's guarding. I guess it could be like over here somewhere. I think I'm going to do it where these flowers are, but I can't be able to move all the flowers. So let's just do it like down here for now. Maybe I'll find a place a little bit closer, but this is the uh, the guard dog guarding all of the uh, the turnips <laughs> inside of here. This actually might be a nice place for the uh, the manhole cover as well. I might just add like a few of them. Like this is kind of more my uh, like this part of the island here is much more like the like town part of the island. It's like a lot more modern. Like the the right side's much more like relaxed, kind of like Zen garden area and the pool and that and like the restaurant. And this is much more modern. I've added in some vending machines. This is like my energy tower with solar panels and those uh, things and like the electricity pylon and that. So I feel like having the man cover there will uh, fit in nicely with the rest of the area. Someone says they have three of the uh, the Sphinx. Three Sphinxes? How do you say that? Fruby's <laughs> just still, still there. I, I mean, I'll be honest. I've sort of come around on Ruby. Like, I know I say that they're the demon bunny because of their terrifying red eyes. But, like, they're kind of cute, aren't they? They're kind of cute! With their, little, with their little lollipop! I think that's part of the trick, though. I think that's how they, they get you off guard, these demon bunnies. They act all cute. They make you all complacent around them. And then they strike with fire. I don't know. Uh, right, I'm going to add the uh, the fences in first, and then uh, I don't know what I'm going to do for like the, the flooring. I kind of just added this in for now because the museum here was for a few days. Uh, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do the whole thing as a stone courtyard or, or what. I don't know. I'll look through the, uh, the different paths when we get to it. Frey is laughing because they're still singing. I know, they just they sing for hours. They love it. <laughs> My favourite thing is when like they just do the little Naruto running, where they just like... They just go and like run for a bit and then they go and then they run again and they just do that for like two hours <laughs> and they like don't get bored of it. It's quite impressive. Let me do a fence here. Why don't you let me do a fence there? There we go. God, I really don't have much room here. All of that stuff that I made, like this is the courtyard area and this bit's going to be taken up by the fences. If I do the fences here, is that going to be like... Oh, not there. Is that going to block too much of the path? I already want as much room as I can get. Mm. Is that annoying it being like on the path? I think it is a bit annoying, isn't it? Maybe we could... Um... Yeah, maybe, maybe if we do run out of room, we could change that a little bit later on. What am I doing as well? I'm, I'm wearing the wrong outfit. We're building. Uh, Ewan actually gave me a good suggestion the other day and said that I should call this outfit building time rather than let's build. Which is like, seems so, so obvious now they've said it. I don't know why I didn't think of that. It's perfect. 
Can I do these fences? If I do, can I do like a fence so it... That looks okay. That's like the end fence. Maybe I could do it like just in line with the museum though. Like, if I go down a little bit. That looks better. Let's do the same on the other side. Perfect. Oh, it's just so small, this courtyard, isn't it? But let's 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 go do the uh, the path, shall we? And then we're we try and do um. Yeah, we're trying to fit as much as we can in. Because I the thing is is like I don't want it to be just like oh I'm trying to fit everything in. I want like all of the uh like the the style to fit in as well. Like I I don't want it to be too cramped. So what do you think for the path then? Should I, should I just keep it the stone? Because for the shop, I was thinking of um. I don't know. I could maybe do the uh, the terracotta, which well, might fit with the the shop and the blue fences. And there's also the the brick, or even the uh, like the wood might look okay for the shop. Hmm. Then there is like the other type of stone as well. With like the, the different pattern. But that's what I like. Uh, oh, got an office chair. Uh, yeah, then there is the other type of stone which I've used here. But because I've used it here. Unless what could look really nice for here is the, the brick. I could make this the brick. And then use this type of stone for the museum. So I think the, the brick would actually fit in really nicely here. And with the clothes shop. I think I'm going to do that. So I, I just want to make it all look a, a little bit separate from the, the path here. Oh, and I, sh oh, I should have done this before um, doing the, the fences. Some people are saying to do the brick for the, the museum. I just kind of like the stone. I just feel like it's very like... I'm just trying to think back to like the museums I've been to. And they, they are like a little bit like... I don't know, that, that kind of like cold stony feeling. <laughs> I feel like the brick would fit in with the other uh, clothes shop a little bit better. I think this looks pretty good. And I know it's looking very grey right now. But obviously I'm going to like eventually be adding in all of like the other stuff like the fossils and that so that's gonna like help decorate it a bit more i do wish there was like a few more options for the other uh, different paths uh grace says today's my 15th birthday can you say happy birthday i can happy birthday hope you have a great one i mean i could always try doing like a a fancy like combo of the different fences the only annoying thing with that is like when you have two different types of a uh, not fences, sorry, of the ground. When you have two different types, there's always like the gap of grass around the outside can look a bit weird. Thank you to uh, to Magic Lou Bear. What a great username. It says uh, me and my mum love you. Can we have a shout out? You can. Thank you so much. Love the uh, love the username. Magic Lou Bear. Uh, thank you as well to uh, to Hunter. It says, do you remember me from your last Animal Crossing stream? I do actually. Welcome back. Yeah, I th I th I'm going to have to do these fences again. I'm sorry. I know I just placed them. But I want the, uh, these to go over them. It's just really making me worry about the, uh, the shop and stuff as well. Because the museum's so wide, like this is the place that has the uh, the bigger courtyard. Uh, it's okay, Rocky. Um, like I like I like problem solving in this stuff. Hello, Lofo. I love it when they do this. <laughs> you just get them to chase you. <laughs> Hello. Alright, I'll be nice. I'll talk back. I'll see what they want to say. 
Hey, I got a payment to ask you. Uh, sorry, that was kind of rude, but I'm getting desperate here. I need to get a sea bass. You think you could reel one in? Uh, I mean, I'll try. I mean, sea bass are pretty common. Like, normally any time in the ocean you see, like, a giant fish, it's usually a sea bass. But I'm kind of, like, building a museum here. You know what? This actually looks quite cool to see <laughs> these three in a row here. Like, imagine that as, like, a path. Like, those three going in a trail. Like, I don't, I don't think it would fit in here because we're doing more, like, courtyards rather than paths. But it does look pretty cool, though, doesn't it? Pretty much every fish in the sea is sea bass. It, do it does feel like that sometimes, doesn't it? This is like, I, th I think I know C plus or whatever it says every time you get it. I could do like... The fence is going out. Oh, they kind of go a little bit too far out on the path. I thought that would have looked cool. Uh, right then, let's see if we can actually fit. <laughs> Any, uh, any display in here whatsoever after doing that. Like, even just, like, that stone table is going to take up so much room. But you can imagine what I, like, was saying about the sphinxes. God, they would take up, like, the whole room by themselves, though. Like, imagine the other way around, of course, but, like, two of them either side there. Like, or even just against these walls would look really cool. Just always, up a, always underestimate just how big everything is. This little bit of grass here annoys me. I'm going to try again, but I'm pretty sure I just can't fill it in, though. No. They, ref they refuse to do it. They're going to do it. They're like, let's do it. Let's do it. No, not going to do it. Not going to do it. Uh, oh, that's the poo. Maybe we won't put the... Uh, the poo prime prime place on a on display there. <laughs> oh, this is the one that I got today, isn't it? Oh, that's kind of cool. It's like, it's like, almost like the same as the the one that was there already. Then what else do we have? Oh, I think that was like facing the wrong way. No, they're all facing the wrong way. Maybe I'll get rid of this one. So it's kind of a bit similar. That was quite cool. Then let's do the uh, let's do the display here with the actual dinosaur. So I haven't put any of the uh, the lanterns down yet either. I want to make sure I have room for them. Then, so maybe if I do, uh, well, let's maybe try and put the lanterns like back here. And they won't look very dramatic now, but of course when they they light up, they'll look really good. And I could put like the good thing about this area is that like people don't really need to walk around it. Because like they're only going to be walking like like it's basically just going to be a corridor to the museum. And this is almost like museum displays as you're walking through. Like, if it's all kind of packed in, at least it's not going to be, like, really annoying everyone as they walk around. Oh, when did I get that street light? <laughs> did I steal that from somewhere? Then maybe I do the dinosaur a little bit further this way, if I can grab it. And I can do like the, the hedge here, like kind of covering its tail a bit. If I can fit it in. Oh, that looks cool. They fit in like really well together, don't they? Oh, doesn't already this look so much better for like the, the museum? And then I do also have the uh, the stone stall as well. Oh, I've got a couple of street lights on me. I think maybe I just ordered them. I, I'm, all, I'm just always wanting more street lights. <laughs> so maybe I just had ordered a few and forgotten about it. But tell me, is this going to be the uh, the new home for the poo? Do we just do? Do we just? <laughs> do we just have that there uh, on display? 
<laughs> just as people uh, as people walk in. <laughs> it's funny because of the delay of the stream. As I looked up, everyone was answering my question when I was saying, does this look better? And everyone's saying like, oh yeah, that looks better. That looks much better. And then I place down the poo and then I look up and everyone's like, ah, oh, that looks better. Oh, how lovely. That looks so nice. <laughs> Just as I place down a giant lump of dino poopy down at the, uh, the front. <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, do we leave it like that? I kind of want it. To, the thing is, though, I kind of, I kind of want it to be the poo that Stacy got me. I think this can be the, the official day, that we uh, we get rid of the poo shrine. And let me let me put this poo, um, <laughs> at home. I tuck it safely away at home, and then I'll, I'll go take the uh, the poo that Stacy got me. Oh, I think yeah, I think this is just stuff that I I picked up while needing to to do all of this. Uh, put it behind the standy. That could be quite funny. I, I feel like I, I need to. I can't use the. Uh, I can't use the backup poo. This is going to be a a, pr a prime poo situation we have here. Everyone's saying, no, keep the poo. I have such a good idea for that area, though. I also, uh, some of you may remember, I've been, like, fretting. Because, uh, oh, we've got another fossil here. We can see if that's something that will fit in. Um, I've been fretting just because uh, you can only have eight inclines. And the design for the layout of my island I was going to have would mean that I meant uh, I needed nine. But I've actually, like, changed... It's kind of annoying, so I've got to destroy, like... I don't know, like, five inclines or something. But I've actually changed the layout. So what it's going to be in the future is... This incline is going. And this incline over here is going. And in the middle here, I'm going to have an extra, like, raised courtyard here. Oh, I lost item. Uh, and then, um two ramps like either side leading to it as to like as a big feature it'll look good i promise you that when it, once it gets to the point where there's that courtyard here and then that rock garden and that all in the background this will be like a really nice area but then that means that this incline would be too many because i need inclines leading down there to what is going to be like this is going to be like my harbor area it's going to be like a boat harbor because that's where the boat comes in so this incline is going to go and where I'm standing here is going to be all flattened, which means you can walk through, have an incline going down there, and then along here, there'll just be one incline, like, right here, which kind of almost looks like there should be one anyway, which leads you to the, the top part of this then garden here. So it won't really make it anywhere, like, any harder to get around the, the world, um, around the island. It will, um... Yeah, it would just mean that I can have enough inclines and I can still, like, make a feature out of them. There were other plans of places and things that I wanted to do that sadly I can't do anymore, but... Oh, well. Right, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna dismantle the whole shrine now. Uh, just... Oh, that's so annoying. I can, I can see if I go back down. Can I get up here now? Oh, uh, yeah, just because I don't really have time, but... I, I just, I just want to make sure it's, it's the official poo on display. Not one of the fake ones. Oh, I can't make it up. What I could do... Is just filled up here, I guess. So eventually, this whole area that I'm looking at in the background, that's all going to be destroyed. And you can kind of see at the, the top of the screen, you can see the lighthouse in the background. That's going to mean that um, from Poo Bridge, as it is at the at the moment, like you're going to be able to um, to see like down this whole ravine. Straight to like the sky, maybe a bit of the the water, depending on the angle, uh, and then also um, you'll be able to to see like the probably just like a dark outline of the um, of the lighthouse as well. I just think it's gonna be like look really cool, and like the poo, the poo shrine was a funny joke. I like the poo shrine too, but I think it's time to to move on, and the the poo will live on. Outside the uh, outside the front of the museum, uh, museum anyway. Oh, everyone's asking for corgi cams, right? We'll have a. Where is she? There she is. I mean, she's not doing very much right now, but she's she's having a bit of a nap. She'd probably be sleepy for the uh, the next hour or so. She's always a bit tired after her walk. 
Uh, today as well, I, I want to, um, I'm going to set up this next incline here later today, either in the stream if we have time or a little bit later on, uh, just because I want it built ready for tomorrow. I should probably, uh, <laughs> Alex is such a mood, says Roxy. I also need to find who this uh, lost item belongs to. Thank you as well to, uh, to Craven. Uh, oh, who says they got arcade flooring for me? Uh, I'm actually not, I really like, I, I've got too many options for arcade floor already. I have seen like the, uh, like the official arcade flooring. And I actually don't think it's as nice as the, um, oh, who did she say that belonged to again? Uh, I actually kind of prefer both the rubber floor and the, the carpet. Uh, thanks for offering those. Oh, I, I can't ask again. Who, who did she say that, uh, that belongs to? Uh, Elvis! Right, he was down at the uh, the beach before. Let's see if he's uh, he's still around there. I did my thing right, just kind of scroll through the dialogue, but don't actually listen to it. Let's see if we can uh, we can track him down. I haven't actually seen uh, inside his house yet once it's been decorated, because he was moving in yesterday. It was all just boxes. Maybe we should go and check out what it looks like on the uh, on the inside. Thank you as well to uh, to Natalie. Oh. Cute, cute corgi action going on. Why <laughs> oh, they give me a present? Give me something to, to decorate outside the clothes shop. A, uh, oh, they always give me parkers. And it's like in the middle of summer. It's like the worst time to get parkers. They always give me parkers. God, I do really love this, like, <laughs> path, which I didn't even mean to build as a path. I was just placing them down to, to see what they look like. Yeah, let me go show you Elvis's house. I want to see what's like on the inside. Oh, oh, no, I can't because he's not there, isn't he? Durr. Yeah, you can't go in people's houses unless they're there, which is a uh, pretty general good rule for, for life as well. Oh, that's not the right one. There we go. Then there is room here as well for other things. So maybe if there's like a bigger fossil I get, because this stuff, you're just not going to be able to see it very well. It's also like really hard to get it like facing the right way. Like how would I get it like facing the right way? Because if I try to turn it, it's just going to turn the whole table, right? Oh, that kind of looks all right. You can kind of see that one. I guess that, that will do for now. And then maybe if I get like uh, taller up fossils, I could find like places for, for them uh, as well. I mean, this already looks like way better than uh, than what it was. Uh, let's go and um, uh, get this uh, this fossil looked at and see if it's something else that would uh, would fit in. Uh, what is your rating, Hunter Ask? Uh, five star at the moment. Uh, shout out to uh, to Chrissy, Joe and, uh, and Maggie, their dog. Oop, wrong button. Amy saying tea is life. I literally finished a cup of tea right before I started the stream. And I'm already wanting another cup of tea. I think I think me adding a tea emoji was like the worst thing I could do. So I'm one of the people that would like whenever they see or hear tea, I just immediately want one. And now I'm going to keep seeing like tea in the chat. I'm just going to be like drinking way more tea than, than is healthy. I probably already drink way more tea than is healthy, but <laughs> it will go up even more than that. I am a little bit sad that I didn't have room to like put the Sphinx in here. But um, yeah, the courtyard is just like way, way not big enough. <laughs> I might extend like the, the stone back a little bit here later on. Uh, but for now, let's, let's focus on the, the shop. So I got these like... Uh, Iron fences, and then I made sure there's room to build it right round. But let's let's not make the same mistake as we did last time, and let's uh, let's do the paths first. So what do we agree on? I think we said brick path, 
over here, right? Oh, hello, Henry. Go out and hide in my arm today. I can read your mind. You're thinking, I wish I had an athletic jacket. Sure, Henry. No, you're selling it to me. I thought it was a present. I'm not buying an athletic jacket from you, Henry. A little athletic jacket business you've started up. <laughs> so yeah, I could do the brick here. The problem is, is this brick is going to extend to here, which is going to go right up to here. And then it's right next to the plaza, which is also brick. So if this was brick here, would this look weird when it's like a... Di mm. It's very similar, but a very slightly different type of brick, which kind of annoys me a little bit. So I wonder if I could do uh, I could do terracotta, maybe for this area, and then maybe brick outside the shop. Does that look alright? I mean, there is terracotta which I've used like over here. Oh yeah, and there's brick right down here as well. But like, there's not many different types of uh, <laughs> of path. We're gonna have to reuse them sometimes, aren't we? And then the other option is the wood, which wood. Look nice. <gasps> My kettle's just finished boiling. My kettle's just... Oh! Picture of a big dog face. <laughs> and you couldn't see. Is Squashy making tea? That's the question. Right, so brick. Brick or wood? The wood matches the, uh, the bottom of the shop and the steps, doesn't it? Maybe we should go for the wood. I'm thinking the wood. Wooden? Wooden path? Wooden path? Yeah? Wooden path. Wooden path? Yes, yes, no. Wood for the shop. It fits with the the stairs. Says Ori. Okay, right. We uh, we stick with the uh, we stick with the wood then. Once again, I hate the the little. I wish we could have it going straight to the stairs. I hate the little tiny gaps of grass at the side. Like I'll li I'll survive. I'll live with it. <laughs> I'll manage. So the thing is with um the shop because of where it's positioned. I can actually have it like extend a little bit to the side and have more of an outside display area because it's so small here otherwise. The museum I don't really have much more room for. But with the, the shop I can like get rid of this stuff, find a new place for the uh, the well in there. And have a bit more of a, an outdoor display area I think would look nice. Uh, you need the, the we're open sign. Oh, I got it. Yes, I do. So I haven't gathered the stuff I need for here. Uh, Rocky actually gave me one of them. And I was going to put it in my arcade, but I placed it. And it was like way too big. <laughs> uh, and it just like took up too much space. And I was like, oh yeah, but I can use it for the shop. I don't know how much it fits in with the style of the shop, but it's just too, too perfect of a, of a thing not to, to use. Thank you to, uh, to Odo Junson. Who says, uh, my dad, uh, oh, hey, dad, uh, mum and I miss you, love you, come home soon. <laughs> which, which is a very bizarre comment. Oh, didn't mean to click on that. Oh, can I not pick up? Oh, yeah, I gotta, like, dig up the bushes, don't I? Oh, is that, is that a peacock butterfly? These are worth like loads of money. Stay there. Stay there. Stay. Stay. No, 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 no. Excuse me, Elvis. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, I can't run on here because I'm trying to breathe these flowers. Oh, no. No, squeeze around. Gotcha. Oh, do you like my net? Look at my fancy colorful net. I didn't know I had that one uh, equipped yet. I brought um a bunch of backup tools that were all colorful because I assumed that. Oh, let's have a little tea break with, uh, with Elvis. Oh, I'm going to take a picture of this. This is amazing. I wish you could turn, like, the camera side on when you're not in the house. I keep doing the, uh, the bashful pose. Squashy! Oh, no! Squashy, don't, don't look. Squashy, don't look. <laughs> so, for those that weren't here earlier, Elvis, um... Oh, thank you. Yeah. For those that, uh... <laughs> it's just a... It's just, like, vegetable one, isn't it? Uh, for those that weren't here, um... Earlier, Elvis used to be uh, one of Squashy's villagers, and then he was all like, "Oh, actually, this island sucks. I'm gonna go somewhere Did better." And so he's decided Did to. Really he's like, "I'm gonna go to Stampy's lovely island for tea." He didn't say that. <laughs> what did he say? He was like, "You've made me 
made me grow into a better person. Like, I want to go and visit new areas. Worse people. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for the tea. I saw it pop up that the kettle was boiling. Do you want to make Alex snoot? Sure the dog she did. She did a good one earlier. Oh, food, Darby. No, come here. Go back. Stay. Stay. No. <laughs> <laughs> she missed. She she did a perfect one earlier. Try again. Stay. Sink. Oh, yeah. I actually like it was so side on. All I saw was that, and I actually just saw the nose like poke out the other side. <laughs> she did it so good. Why am I here? Why am I in this part of my island? Oh, I was catching a butterfly. So I got really confused as to why I was all the way over here. Thank you for the tea, Squishy! Thank you, Oh, you sent me a rug. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Everyone's saying, good snoot, Jupiter Sparks. Oh, and all the tea emotes! Oh, that's so good. And tea and... Ginger nut biscuit. I can make it look like my face is. Oh, look at that! It's a ginger nut biscuit with uh, with hair. If I didn't want to ruin my biscuit, I'd draw a smiley face on it. <laughs> I wonder if I could like dig in a smiley face. Have I got? Have I got any engraving tools at hand? I don't have any engrave. I could engrave like a smiley face on top of them. <sighs> where 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 are my engraving tools when I need them? Oh, it's a present in the background. Has this been my um? My most continually distracted stream yet. <laughs> it's one of the streams where I wanted to get the most done. But it's one of the ones where I've been like distracted the most throughout. Oh, where's that balloon? Where is it? I can't even see it anymore. Is it up here? There it is. I'm just going for the, uh, the rapid fire technique. One of them's got to hit it. Ooh, a, a justice cap. I am actually after clothes because I do want to decorate them. Uh, decorate outside the, the shop with them. Normally I'm, I'm disappointed when I shoot something down and get clothes. I kind of normally want the items a bit more. Little Cookie says, uh, my island looks terrible compared to yours. That's okay, like, I've played this game load, so. Like, I know when I, like, finish decorating my island, like, I'm gonna be, like, more sad than I'll be happy. Like, once I've filled in all the areas, because I know that there'll be, like, little areas that I'll end up changing when I get new items and can craft new stuff, but... Like, if you haven't decorated your island that much, just think of, like... Think of all of the opportunities and all of like the space you have to, in order to like keep decorating. That's the way to think about it. I don't even have a, a town hall. I mean, if you don't have a town hall yet, you must have like just started like playing. Like a good tip for when you um you first start out is uh just keep talking to Tom Nook all the time. If you keep going back to him and just saying like, what should I do next? Then he'll like keep giving like uh, kind of new challenges, stuff for you to do. And then once you uh, do your first KK slider gig, that's when the uh, the world will like really open up to you. Oh, Rage says I have a tiny space left. <laughs> yeah, so like that, I'm I'm not looking forward to like filling in the island. But then I guess I'll keep just rearranging and improving it. Like 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 this area here. Like I had built my whole town. Like this this area was complete. Then I was like, oh, I know how I can do it better. And now I'm like changing it. So I guess I'll always be able to keep on doing that. The pose. But it's still not the same as being like, when you're doing like massive changing all the terraforming and doing all like the, the really big changes. I think I might plant a tree here or like maybe have bamboo in that little patch there. Then have the fence going back to here. Uh, remember the game will have lots of new updates and new items too, says Rocky. Uh, Roxy, sorry. Uh, yeah. 
And all like the uh, the seasonal events and stuff as well. So I could move this path a bit this way. I think this is okay though. I think this looks alright. So if I do the fence around here, that's a pretty decent display area. It's quite thin here, so we won't be able to fit loads. That should be enough to display a few items. Because if I go anywhere further this way, then you're not going to be able to walk around the outside. And I always like to have good access around my island for when I need to do my crazy chase downs of balloons or like there's a fish that I want to catch. Oh yeah, I'm still meant to catch a sea bass for someone, aren't I? Was that, um... Was that Henry who wanted the, the sea? Someone, someone wanted a sea bass, didn't they? You know what, this, uh, these blue fences with, uh, with that floor look really nice together, don't they? Alex, Alex can smell the biscuits. She's like, I'm gonna move them. She's like sniffing around. <laughs> like underneath where they are. You can smell the ginger nuts. Uh, hello, welcome back, Saskia. Didn't enjoy, didn't enjoy her walk. It's good to get outside the house at least once a day. Uh, shout out as well to, to Toby, says hi Stampy, it is my uh, Minecraft birthday today. Do you mean it's like your birthday from playing Minecraft or you're doing like a Minecraft themed birthday? Or, or, or is it Minecraft's birthday today? Is that what you mean? There's so, so many different ways to read that comment. Oh, this looks so nice, doesn't it? There's not even like, there's not even anything in there yet. <laughs> oh, my, oh, it's it's Minecraft's birthday today. Minecraft is 11. God, I can't believe Minecraft came out 11 years ago. Is that like when the beta first came out, or like when Minecraft like officially came out? Uh, are those digestives? Says, oh, I know the ginger nuts. Did you not see the ginger nut face? Right. <laughs> <Did it be? laughs> this is the ginger nut face. Oh, we should get um. Squashy, if you're watching, you should get some icing and we should draw faces and we should go and do this. And we'll be like giant, giant ginger nut faces. It would be a fun way to spend our time. <laughs> oh dear. Right, okay, I need to find some, uh, I need to go to the house and get some stuff. Because I haven't decided, oh sorry about Alex, I didn't know you were under my chair. I'm sorry for kicking you. Oh, you're, I know why you're over here actually. You're after the ginger nut biscuits, eh? I don't know if ginger's good for puppies, and you just had your chew. Stop begging! Stop doing that! You know I'm such a sucker for it. I always fall for it. Uh, right, that might be a good display table. My pockets are full with what? Oh, one of these bushes. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's just find a place to, to plant them for for now. Oh, Wally says ginger nut biscuits are my favourite. Ah, oh, we love them. Right, so the, the, these won't be a, a permanent place for these, but I just kind of need to clear them out my inventory and you can't put them in storage. Do I need to, like, dig holes? Or can I... No, I can just do them. Jolly good. I've been spending so much time doing this for just like, when I've been rearranging areas and like having to move flowers around, like keep having to like dig them all up and then plant them somewhere else. And my shovel breaks and stuff, it's so annoying. Especially because you can't leave them in storage. Oh, see you later, Rocky. And let's just put these flowers down here for now. This will all be moved. This is not, this is not permanent. Got another fossil to sell uh, as well. Important, ginger uh, is good for dogs. 
Really? Uh, it stops them from uh, from puking. Are you gonna puke? You're not gonna puke, are you? I think I think Alex wrote that comment. She made like a, a fake username. She set her name to CJ, and she was like, "No, dogs need to eat as many ginger nut biscuits as they can, and have lots of belly rubs. Otherwise, they explode." Yeah, you're not fooling me. Uh, Adam asks, "Will I play uh, 1.4 of Terraria?" Uh, so I, I play on Xbox, and so it's not out on Xbox yet. Um, but when it comes to Xbox, I probably will. Right, yeah, so I've got some log stalls and stone stalls. Oh, yeah, I've got the well still on me. Don't really need the, uh, the office chair. I'm actually going to have a very quick break. I'm just going to quickly run to the, the toilet. I've been drinking so much tea today. So I expect a, a few of these uh, quick breaks. Oh, good t good time for Corgi Cam as well. Tell you what, I'll leave, I'll leave you, um... I'll leave you a Corgi Cam. And I'll be back in, like, just one moment. Uh, let me mute. Um, that's the the meaning of life. All right, then let's uh, jump back into the the action. Yeah, so let's just see what I have on me that would work well for like display. Um, or well, maybe the I don't know if the table of the cloth would work so well for an outdoor display. But let's just take like a few of these different tables, and we can see what fits in. I think I can also change like the the color of like the the tablecloth. Oh yeah, the we're open sign, of course. Uh, I got like a studio spotlight. This is really cool. So, Ori gave me this, uh, with the intention of putting it, um, uh, like in the, the Zen garden, but it just didn't really fit in, in terms of like, like physically, like it fit in in terms of style, but it didn't fit in in terms of like room. Look at this thing as well. I got this thing as well. I need to find a good place for, for that. So yeah, I don't know, maybe that'll fit. I'll, I'll take it with me. Um. Oh, game, oh, game play, Squishy Shouty. <laughs> right, uh, oh, <laughs> I want to go back to show you the thing I was talking about when I've gone. I'll show you, it's, uh, I'll show you the, the thing I was talking about. <laughs> there we go. That oriental chest. It's funny, because there I was doing a prank, pretending I forgot to unmute my mic. <laughs> and then I actually just forget to switch to the, the gameplay view. I was too focused on what I was doing. So the other thing is, so I, I need, like, stuff to display things on. Then I also need, like, items that would look like they are for sale. So maybe, like, Newton's Cradle, the globe. Like, what's just stuff that looks like it would be for sale? Maybe, like, these flowers could look good. Maybe have a couple of them. It's actually quite good because I've got all of this stuff, which like I've never um like I've never like found a place for in my home. But they would look like a good thing that would be for sale. Oh, this is gonna be enough. Like my pockets are probably yeah. Oh I knew it! I knew my pockets would be almost full. Oh, Jesse says the doll. I would do the doll, but that means I'd have to, like, walk past it every single time, like, when I go past the, the shop. <laughs> I don't really do that. I might actually just go into the shop quick just to, to sell the fossil and the, the butterfly. To make a bit of money, but also just to 
clear up some room in my pockets. Stan V, did you have to empty one quarter of your bladder, says Dino. <laughs> yeah, yeah! Little uh, reference to, uh, to Space Den then. Some of you might get. Did everyone like the, uh, the You Died show? I made me laugh so much. Just thought like that the way the camera view was there was like so perfect. <laughs> Not bad for two things. <laughs> I love the way people like clap back at you when you clap. People liked it. Oh, those people saying okay boomer stampy. <laughs> The thing is, is like, there's all like these memes that get like really, really popular. And then like, like most of my jokes about them is kind of like making the joke like about the meme rather than using it. So I said like, okay, Boomer is like a joke, like kind of like making fun of it. And everyone's like, oh my God, I can't believe Stampy said, okay, Boomer. It's like, yeah, I, like I said it in terms of the words came out of my mouth, but like, it wasn't like, oh, like I was using it like how other people use it. I think I think I might just do it. I think I might just leave it as it is actually. Gives my give me a little bit more room as well. Right, let's put one of the uh, the bigger tables back here then. So there's this table here. I kind of like the, I kind of like the way it's a bit all like these different styles of table and stuff all over the place. As if they've just like rummaged around and they've just like found whatever they have. Because it is a bit of like a... Like, that's kind of a bit what the shop is like, isn't it? It's just stuff. Like, there's not like, oh, it's the clothes shop or the shoe shop. It's just like, oh, it's the stuff shop. Like, you could find a TV in there. You could find a fireplace. You could find a doll. Like, there's just, like, anything basically there. Like, you have no way to predict it. So I feel like we kind of need the same sort of stuff on the outside as well. What are these? Oh, oh these are the plants. Maybe I should find another, like, kitchen appliance to go next to, to that, possibly. Uh, and then maybe the, the weir open sign could, like, fit down the front here. Or maybe at the back here. Maybe, like, there. I just want to make sure I can still read the sign to see, like, what the, the hot item of the day is. I so wish they weren't just all pictures of leaves and you could actually see what the stuff are as you're scrolling around them. Can I still read the sign? Okay, I can still read the, the sign there. That looks okay. Like, I would do it, like, further forward here, but then it would, like, block anything else that I'd put in front of it. I could here put, like, another table down. Where was the, um... There was the table that was, like, technically a bench. Outdoor... Oh, there we go. Outdoor bench. There we go. That can fit down here. And then I think I'm going to put like the uh, the globe and then the Newton's cradle here. Because it's like both kind of like office-y stuff. I love the way I'm just like expanding their expanding their shop all of their expanding all of their business i hope they like it then there's the table with the the cloth which i could maybe put like if i put it right in this corner i can have things all around the outside actually if i go move it in a little bit then i can fit around the other side and then i'd also have room for like another outdoor table so i might have to order some of like more of these same tables So I might have here another table with the two flowers on it. Or maybe on this uh, this low table. I just love how like mix matches. Anyone who remembers um don't know how many of you'd have seen this like Only Fools and Horses. It's like a, a 70s uh sitcom in England. They're like all of their, like in their apartment, all of their furniture was always just like random stuff that they found and it like would basically change every week. I kind of like the way it's a little bit like that. 
Alright, let's go. Let's go get more stuff. Uh, quite a lot of you have seen it. Everyone's saying about it. It's a, it's a classic. So there's this table, which is like, I, I reckon take, so it's technically a teacher's table. So from the other side, you can see like the teacher's notes and stuff. Then there's these tables here as well. And these can be like dyed different colors. I'll take both of them for, for now. That one's like too much of like a dresser, isn't it? Uh, so what else, what, what else shall I sell? <laughs> what else shall I sell? I could do like electronics. I'll have a, an electronics table. Maybe if I do this tape recorder, then I got three pedal boards. Anyone want a pedal board? I have three. Maybe do the three pedal boards there. I got like a couple radios as well. So I'll have one electronics table. Then what other, what other type of table? One evil doll table. <laughs> we can do a toilet table with all toilets on it. I could just put a skeleton out there. Because why not? I want another, like, nice pair of things. Maybe, like, the uh, the magic kit and the fortune set a set. We'll put these down. We'll see how it looks. Well, Nicholas says the, uh, the record box. That's a great idea. Because it's almost like a box and you can, like, go through and, like, pick which records. Like, as in, it's not selling the box. It's just selling individual records. That's a good idea. So that record box was actually, it used to be down in my arcade. Some of you may re recognize it. But my arcade just got too full. It's just got too much stuff in my arcade. And I kept getting too many cool arcade machines and stuff. And the record box was taking up space. So it just had to go. Oh, I love this museum. Look at that big poo. It's so big. <laughs> I love it. I love the big poo. Oh yeah, I forgot we had this big table. Oh, so I think I might have this table for all of the electronics on it. Because there's quite a few other electronics I could do. How do I get... How, how, so if I want to turn around the thing on the table, how do I do that without turning around the whole table? Is there a way to do that? Does anyone know, like, I want to have... Look. I want everything facing... I want the pedal board facing forwards. I want that... I want to turn that tape recorder now. Do I need to, like, put the table somewhere else and jiggle it around? Or is, is there a way for me to just spin the things on the table? Without doing it like inside of my house or I can do it like in the other menu. Does anyone know? You have to replace the item of the correct orientation. Yeah, that's what I know. It's just so annoying when there's like, I got fences. I guess I can just move the fences, I guess, for now. Stand beside the item on the corner, someone said. A lot of people said they don't think so. I'll try the corner thing. I mean, the corner thing doesn't really help me now. Because I couldn't reach it there. But let me try it if I went to the corner. No, if I'm on the corner, it doesn't even let me grab it. Look. So I'd have to, like, be here. And then just be facing this way and do it. Let me go grab a couple more electronics and decide. So I want, like, the, uh, the taller things at the back. And then the, the smaller things at the front. Yeah, so it just goes put down the way. Like, I know it's it's down the way you're facing. It's just when you don't have, like, full access to get the whole way around. It can become a bit annoying. Oh, yeah, I got that skeleton as well. Uh, right, whatever electronics. i got loads of stuff. What about one of these radios? Maybe this one. This is like an old sort of radio that would be for sale. And an alarm clock, maybe? Like a microwave? Might grab that because I might have like a kitchen stuff thing. 
I think I'll do the alarm clock. Sort of thing you kind of find on sale. Uh, Brayden says, is your lovely world more laggy on 360? Uh, yeah, I mean, that's like... That's the main place I've only ever done videos on, is on 360, really. Like, regularly. And they haven't updated it, I don't think. Right, I put the alarm clock at the front, because that would be quite small. Then I want the other stuff facing forward. Facing this... So how would I do it facing this way, though? Because I can't place it facing that way. Because I would need to be... Because I want it, if I want it all facing the same way, I just... I don't think I can do that. I don't think there's a way to do it. Even if I turn the table round, like... I can't have it facing, like, that way. I guess I'll just do them, like, facing sideways. I guess the coffee grinder it won't really matter anyway which way it's facing. Then there was like the radio. Or like the tape deck. <laughs> I managed to spin the coffee grinder. It actually looks quite cool. It looks quite cool the way it's like diagonal like that. I quite like. I guess I'll like replace all of these fences afterwards once I've uh, done all of this stuff. Oh yeah, so this was where all my kitchen stuff was going to go. I think I grabbed like a mixer or something. Oh, I have another... Tape recorder? Oh, that was the first one that was down, wasn't it? Oh, did I not grab the uh, the mixer thingy? Right, let's uh, let's put the other tape thingy on here then. Then I'll put the crappie grinder next to the kettle. Then I can do another little table down here. So what does the uh, the teacher's desk look like? So it looks weird that way around because you can see inside of it. Let's try spinning it around. I'm just going to get rid of all of these fences for now because they're so annoying while I'm trying to build all of this. okay and like the fact that like it's open on the other side it doesn't really matter because no one's ever going to see that side are they because like i can't i can't turn the camera now like i can only tilt up and down so no one's gonna know it's not just a table like this <laughs> let's put the uh the fortune teller and the uh is that all the magic set on here oh the magic set's amazing by the way i don't know if any of you like have played with it. Does the fortune teller set do anything, by the way? Oh, I just do the, the candles off and on. Okay, you ready for this? Ta-da! <laughs> I love it. I don't think I've got room for like anything else actually. Maybe like I could squeeze the record box on that in somewhere. But I don't think I've got room for any more tables. I feel like maybe the table with just the uh, the plants on is a bit boring. Maybe I could put the plants somewhere else and put something else on them. Uh, Stampy, you need to give Seabass to Wolfie. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, before we do the clothes shop. I try and get a uh, a sea bass. Okay, we've <laughs> we're not having a nice skeleton for sale. <laughs> we just have that outside the front there. Because it's going to be so scary when I walk past here at night. And then I wonder if I could fit the. Actually, let's do this. Uh, this fence a little bit more and I could maybe squeeze the record box down next to, to this table. Oh, that is not the right type of fence. That is the right fence in the wrong place. There we go. I can actually, oh, I can actually, um, 
play something down here as well, you know. Okay, I can't slide that anything more that way. I can, may I can maybe put one of those uh, those flowers down here. There we go. Maybe we just have the one flowers there. And then the record box. We could put it down here, you know. That would kind of block off your access walking there. Maybe we'll just do it on the floor down here. Then I think I'm going to get rid of the other plant and have two separate things uh, here on this table here. Like another little set of items. Like, I, I like the, uh, like, the messiness of this. <gasps> Diva's girl, she loves it. Let's have a picture. Oh, my God. I can't even see her. <laughs> oh, hello. Yo, Biscuit. <laughs> Did you? I heard you're in the market for a lay. Why is everyone trying to sell me stuff today? Oh, uh, what? Stop trying to sell stuff to me today. Oh, Henry. Henry's doing his yoga. Good yoga. <laughs> this game is amazing. This, this game is just like endlessly putting like a smile on my face. And that is exactly what we need right now. Uh, right, we need another set of items then. Oh, there's the, look, this sewing project and then a sewing box. That could be perfect, couldn't it? Oh, welcome to the uh, the channel, soldier. Enjoy being an egg. It will only last for a month. You spend a month as an egg. And then you change. You change five times. Like, uh, I think it's like one month and then like three months, then six, then a year, I think it works. Right, I'm going to um, put down this stuff here, and then I'm going to um, go and get the uh, the sea bass for, for Lobo. Because otherwise I'm going to forget about that, and they're going to get all sad. And then I'm going to get sad because they're sad, and I was the one who made them sad. And then we're all going to be sad, so let's, uh, <laughs> let's go and do that. There we go, here's the, the shop. It's just mad, isn't it? And I can, like, change it out as well. Like, I can just keep changing the different items that are on, like, display outside the, the front whenever I want. But, like, if you remember back, if you cast your minds back in time to, um, before, you know, like, yesterday, <laughs> you know, or when, like, they were all just next to the path. Like, if I walk down here now, like, how much more character does this area have? Now with all of these displays outside the front. Like, I, I, I know that it's not as a uh, dramatic as a change compared to, like, all of the waterfalls and the, the, the terraforming and stuff. But for, like, an area that you're out all of the time, for quite a simple little change, I think it's going to make it, like, so much better. Thank you, uh, Blockbuster! For the donation says, uh, here is two dollars. Spend it wisely. And oh no! I thought that was going to be the sea bass. So Lobo asked me to catch him a sea bass. And I fool foolishly said, yeah, sure. So now i gotta, I got to get him a sea bass. Uh, Stampy's Guide to Shooting Stars for a fellow Brit, says uh, Apricot. I'm not really an expert on shooting stars, so... I'm gonna show you what they look like if you haven't seen them. Like, I had one night where I got a bunch. I think there's, like, meteor showers? Where you, uh... <laughs> where you suddenly get loads of them. Um... 
And I had that once, but then I've had other times when, oh, where's the, oh, maybe I deleted it. I did do a video over like a time when I got a bunch of shooting stars. But yeah, then I've had other times when I've just looked at the sky for ages, just waiting for them, and I've had none. But there's the uh, Celeste, the owl, who shows up at the, uh, no, not this one, who shows up at the island. And when they're there, I think there's a higher chance of meteor showers. Does anyone know more about them to give me any advice? So yeah, you hear a little sound, and then you see them going across the sky like that. Then if you press A, you make a wish, and then in the next day, they'll show up on the uh, the beach. There you go. That's me. That's that's me making the the wish. Anyone got any uh, any other tips for for getting shooting stars? So I really haven't got very many. I've not crafted anything out of shooting stars. I've not had a uh, had enough to do that yet. Uh, you can use star fragments. They would look really nice on your observatory. Oh, they would look perfect. I just need more of them. Right, let me scare away this fish. Go away! Just so another fish would spawn. So the sea bass are always the big ones. It's annoying, like, this is the first time I've ever wanted to, um... To catch a sea bass. Normally they, like, show up. And it's like, oh, another sea bass. No, I, don't think they're, I don't think they're worth all that much money either. Now the one time I actually want to find a sea bass. I keep getting olive flounders. Uh, is there a certain time for shooting stars to come, says Avi? I mean, at night time. I don't know, like, specific times. Uh, meteor showers happen in groups around every 10 minutes, says Michelle. Ah. But I think it needs to be a clear sky. I think if the sky is cloudy, even at night, I think they don't spawn. Is that right? Maybe, maybe Google a guide rather than a... Then use me for information. I, I might not be the uh, <laughs> the best source. Speaking of the best source, what do you guys think the best source is? Sweet chili, ketchup, barbecue, mayonnaise. <gasps> Everyone, look at this! Browsing the wares. It's like it's like they're walking around with like their shopping basket, but it's just like their their bug catching net. <laughs> Let's try the uh, the other side of the the ocean over here. Ranch all the way, sweet chili or barbecue. I think for me it has to be sweet chili. Like when me and Squishy have like sandwiches, it's always like. Squishy just adds a normal amount to hers and then just adds like a stupid amount for me. Because I have like, basically like sweet chili soup. <laughs> I love it so much. No, I was so sure that was going to be a sea bass. I don't want any olive flounders. I'm making myself hungry now. I don't really like mayonnaise. That's because I don't like eggs. Like, I've just never liked eggs. And even though, like, mayonnaise doesn't really taste much like eggs, just because I know it's, like, made with eggs, it just kind of puts me off. Alright, another big fish. Another sea bass opportunity. Let's hope we get lucky. Another olive flounder! <laughs> They're the stupidest fish as well. <laughs> They look like a normal fish has just been ran over and like splattered. Squished. Oh, peacock butterfly though. E these, these are worth a lot of money. So the, the, the peacock butterfly spawn when you have like uh, a lot of dark flowers in your island. So it's always worth getting a bunch of dark flowers to get them. They're a great way to get a bunch of money. Especially if the, uh, the guy who buys your box is in town. Because they buy them for like so much more. I know mine's a bit of a mess right now in terms of the shells and stuff, and I haven't even gathered the fruit or done my rocks or anything. But I was trying to be efficient and like be good at, uh, at building quick, but um, yeah, I've been very distracted today. Uh, I'll give you another corgi cam though. She's settled down on the. Uh, oh, look at her. She's settled down on this. Oh, she, she's probably like using the the pillow, like uh, as an old. Oh, get rid of that. Can't even see. Yeah, she's like probably using the pillow, like a human.
Uh, how long more will the live stream go on for, says Toby? Uh, I don't know exactly in terms of time. But I really want to get at least the... Uh, so I, I did want to get more done, but I want to at least get the uh, the town finished today. So once I've got the sea bass, we will uh, decorate the, the clothes shop and like the little tea shop area. And then... Um, yeah, then I guess we'll call it a day. But then I think my voice would have completely gone. I'll be very loud today. Let me try and uh, let me try and chill out a bit more and speak a bit softly. The thing is, uh, anytime like I speak normally, everyone always goes like, "Stampy, you seem sad," <laughs> just because they're so used to like my videos where I'm just like loud all the time. <laughs> and every time I just speak normally, everyone's like, "Oh, are you sad?" I'm like, "No, I'm just normal." Thank you, uh, Thomas, for becoming a member. Enjoy being an egg. Has that become like the catchphrase? Hope you're not made into mayonnaise. Oh, come on. Why is the sea bat? And then my fishing rod breaks. Actually, I think I got a... Uh, I think I got a fancy backup fishing rod, though. This might, this might be a blessing in disguise, so I think I can show off my new fancy fishing rod. You ready for this? Oh, look at that. Hey, eh? Getting some nook miles for something as well. Those people are saying to use fish bait. But like, I think fish bait is like the biggest con in Animal Crossing. Because it, all it does is make like a fish appear. But if you walk up and down the like the beach, every time you do it, you're going to find several like fish anyway. Oh, we finally got one, didn't we? That's a sea bass, right? Yeah, we go. Like if you walk up and down, you're going to find them anyway. And so it's way quicker than walking down the beach, finding the little bubbles in the ground... Like, finding these, which takes, like, longer than finding fish anyway, digging them up, going home, crafting bait, coming back, throwing them in the water, and then a fish appears? If I walk up and down the beach, fish just appear anyway. So, like, unless it's the fishing tournament, I don't understand why you would ever use fish bait. There's not, a, there's not a, like, a world where it's faster, right? Uh, which one's, uh, low? Oh, here he is. Oh, he's always examining something. He's investigating my roses. <laughs> he always does it. He's really like investigating it. He's like, somebody told me that there's a sneaky purple rose that has snuck in with the white roses. And I haven't found it yet, but I'm gonna find it. You let me know if you find any purple roses. I can't quite see it. <laughs> I got you a sea bass. Oh, I didn't want clothes. They always just give me clothes. An elegant hat. Ooh. Should we? Uh, I guess I'll put it on a uh, on display so we can see my elegant hat. Ooh, it is very... That's actually going to be a perfect one to have outside on display of the, the clothes shop. Let me just sell all of these fish that I now have in my inventory. Then I'm going to try and clear out my inventory a little bit. Because I'm sadly going to have to uh, dismantle my tea shop. Just because I need to put down the, the new flooring. And obviously I can't do it with everything uh, in the in the way. And then uh, I can kind of do it all as like one one whole area. Oh, <laughs> Molly donated and asked, why do you need a sea bass? And then literally two like seconds later just said, oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's that's why I needed a sea. Like uh, Lobo came up and was like, I don't know why he wants it. Just like, I really need a sea bass. So being the lovely neighbor that I am, I uh, did it. Matt's saying, no, don't destroy the tea shop. Like, I'm building it back again. I just need to, like, do that so I can put it all away. I guess I should uh, decide what uh, what fencing I'm going to have around the outside. Maybe the rope? I don't want to do stone, because I've done stone, like, everywhere around the island. Uh, 
Let's just put like the pump and like the uh, oh, we need to do that. Yeah, I'll leave it there for now so I don't forget. Um, yeah, the pump and the street lamps. I'm gonna have to go and find new places for all this stuff. But I'll, I'll do it later. I'll do it later. And same with the well and the uh, yeah. I really want to use that. That chest is so cool. I just haven't found a good place for it. Uh, where do you get the pet hamster? Uh, you just buy them from the uh, from the shop. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking the rope. There's these, but these two, these look too much like gardens. And then I used the brick around the, the village area, which is like very close to this. Stone I use everywhere. That I use for the museum. That I use for the Zen garden. That I use for the shop. I think like rope it is, yeah. So I did use rope on the observatory, but that's fine. Like I can use it in, in more than one place. And it won't like block too much, but how do I make it? Uh, oh, just iron. I also realized I had um, some rope fences that I didn't mean to put away. I should have kept them on me. I've got plenty of iron. And if I need more, I can go. I haven't got my rocks or anything today yet. I can go get more. So how many did I... So I had nine already. Then I make ten every time. I am going to need more because this is going to be the biggest area out of the three. So I am going to need more than the uh, the shop and the museum. Uh, Oran says, uh, Stump uh, Stumpy, I was mentioned in your Space Sim video yesterday. Oh yeah, you gave the uh, the suggestion for the uh, the checkpoint. Hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, the shout out. Use Sand Path to give the Zen Garden vibe. Well, I don't want this to be like the Zen Garden, but in the Zen Garden I use Sand. I don't know if you've seen my, my Zen Garden, but probably one of my, my best areas. I love my Rock Garden. It's so simple. It's just a bunch of rocks in a row. Uh, how does your storage never gets full, says Nicholas. I don't know. I don't know what the, the limit is. I've just never, I've never reached it. I'm probably close to the limit though, right? <laughs> Surely? Right, I don't want to pick up all of the other things that I'm going to use for decoration yet. Just because I'm going to have to pick up all the tea shop stuff, my inventory is going to get filled up very quickly right now. So I'm going to come back and do that a little bit later on. So the plan is, for those that weren't here earlier, is the tea shop and the clothes shop is going to kind of become one. So it's going to be like, come down, have some shopping, have some shopping, do some shopping, have some tea, try on some clothes, and then sit back and relax. That's the, that's the plan. To have it all as one big area. Uh, and the reason I decided to do that is mainly out of a uh, utility. Just because I realised that they're too close for me to really separate them very well. And then I realised that it's quite a cool idea anyway. So, as always, the uh, the limitations of games like this often end up giving you the, uh, the best idea. Uh, Nev uh, Nevi GHD says, uh, I've used the uh, the rope for a tea shop too. It looks great. Uh, have you uh, customized stools? Uh, they are good for, for tea shops. I think this one is customized. I haven't like customized them to the point where I've drawn my own design. And I thought about it, but it's just the way the design like repeats itself. So I'm just going to use the, the default ones. But if I was like a better artist and could make like a looping design... <laughs> Then I bet that would be really cool. Uh, what did we decide? Terracotta, didn't we? I think that's what we uh, we settled on. Yeah, because we used wood for the other shop. So this whole area, so here, like right across here, this is all going to be terracotta. Right up to the, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, yeah, right up to the edge of the plaza. And then that's when the uh, where the rope fence is going to go and separate it all off. Oh, Molly says when you add rooms to your house, that's when your storage gets bigger. I think. Haha. -ha. <laughs> okay. So I, I guess because I, I've filled it all out, I guess I've got max storage. And to be fair, like what I think I'll do, once it, like the first time it tells me off saying that I've run out of storage, I think I'm just going to sell loads of stuff. Like stuff that I've just been hanging on to because why not? And like I've got loads, like I've got way more wood than I'm probably ever going to need. So I can just like, one day when the, the hot item for sale is some type of wooden furniture, I just craft loads of it and just try and make a bunch of bales and do it that way, I think. Uh, but for now, seeing as I have room, I just, I just remain a hoarder. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Timmy just says, I'm an egg. Uh, Brickbell says, I started playing Animal Crossing because of you. Oh, cool. Hopefully you're, uh, hopefully you're enjoying it. It just feels like everyone's playing Animal Crossing right now. Like, it's so cool because, like, before Animal Crossing, I think I had, like, maybe six friends on the Switch. And, like, you'd very rarely see them online. Maybe when, like, a new Pokemon game or something comes out, you'd see a few on or Zelda. But, like, now Animal Crossing's out. Like, I'm playing. It's constantly popping up saying, this person signed online. Then I look through my friends list and there'll be, like, ten people on my friends list all playing Animal Crossing at the same time. It's really cool. It's like, it's like, create like a, a really nice community. And I've had so much like, fun times like hanging out with friends in it. This looks nice though, this really fits in well. And then I think I'm gonna smooth off the corners as well. We could e I might even play around with a. Uh, I need to move my sign a little bit for now. Uh, with doing like a separate path, like maybe that like line path I played around with earlier, leading up to the actual shop. STW says, "Uh, play Fortnite." I don't like Fortnite. And I'm always scared of mentioning Fortnite because it just, for some reason, everyone just argues about Fortnite. I think just because it's popular. <laughs> and then Molly says, please don't play Fortnite. <laughs> Sakura Potato, thank you for the donation. I always get this song, so this song from this, uh, let me turn it up a bit. So th this song from this ride always gets stuck in my head. And I just go around the house going do 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 So it sounds just like but I'm going to turn it off for now because I'm just going to get stuck in my head. It sounds just like uh, the song that's in um, Splash Mountain in Disneyland. I don't know what the words are. Squishy knows. We were listening to it the other day. In the middle, when I just did. I said, dude, how do you do? I said something like that. Do you guys know it? And it sounds like so much like it. And it just makes me want to go to Disneyland. But to be fair, I like normally always just want to go to Disneyland anyway, so <laughs> it just accelerates it. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Anyone who's like been to Disneyland recently? Did you know the song that I'm talking about? I think it sounds just like it. I don't know if it's like on purpose because it's a ride, but it seems like almost too much like a coincidence. I know it's from a film as well, but I can't remember what the uh, what the film is. Oh, that looks quite nice. If I just end the rope there. So maybe I'll do it like there's one entrance here and then I'll do the, the rope around the front of the tea shop as well. How do you do? When you're singing, you don't know any of the words of the uh, the thing you're singing. The only downside of this is that, like, because the fences take up a whole like space, it means that um I'm gonna have less room for the tea shop, so I might have to work out a way to like compact things in a little bit closer together somehow. I'll work it out. I can leave the sign here, I guess, just outside the front. Or maybe I guess the sign might work a little bit better, like, outside the front here. C 
Sam says your singing is cringe-worthy, Stampy. Thank you so much! <laughs> Alright, I need to get this corner in. Really hard to tell the the ropes like when there's gaps. I think that's all filled in now though that side. This looks pretty nice, doesn't it? I mean, it's quite empty now. Let me see if I can do like um. What did I do it before? Like the the stripes. Like if I did this, leading up to the door. It's just the way that there's, um, like, it's just like the gaps in the grass that I don't like. Like, like something like that looks quite nice. But I think it look I think it looks weird when it's, like, in the middle of, like, the courtyard with everything else. So I, th I think so, like, I, I really like the look of these paths with these stripes. And I think it would be fine if it wasn't mixed in with this. So I think I'm gonna, like, add that idea... To the old mine bank and then uh maybe we'll we'll reuse that somewhere else but not inside of this courtyard right then let's do the uh the tea shop first and then this area here is where i'll have like just a row of mannequins i guess just displaying a, a bunch of different outfits that are on sale but before I get any more items, I'm gonna to need to empty my uh, empty my inventory a bit here. But yeah, we, we might have to to make the tea shop a bit smaller, just because of how packed this area is in now. I mean, the stool that's a bit weird having it right there. I might do it like right against the rope on the other side though, because don't forget there's all like the popcorn machine and candy floss machine and all of that stuff as well. Right, put the dinnerware there, and then I had the kettle here. I mean, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. As long as it's close enough. Right, where's the uh, the kettle? Simple kettle. And then, let's, let's see if we can fit all of these tables and chairs in. So, these don't need to be in the same way that they were before. There's actually probably a, a more efficient way I could have done these tables and chairs before. So maybe we could uh, maybe not lose out on too much space. If I do them like right, like I, th I think they were in a bit of a weird layout before. So maybe we can make this a bit better. Oh yeah, and there's the chalkboard as well. God, there is, there, there is a lot we need to fit into this very small area. It's kind of made the courtyard bigger though, because we could almost have like tables and chairs a little bit further over here. So I think, I think we're going to be okay. It's going to be crowded, but I think we're going to just about be able to fit everything back in. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. It's just the uh, it's just the popcorn machine and the candy floss and that I'm a bit worried about. Alright, let's make sure we get the, uh, the chalkboard back in, because I love that. Oh, look at Puppy. Look at cute little Puppy. Still sleeping on her pillow. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. There we go. There's your, there's your corgi cam. All of the uh, the members now would be the right time to to spam the little Alex face emote. <laughs> I actually have um now we've uh, we've got enough members. Like so, the the more members you have, the more stuff you can add. And we actually have enough members where I can actually uh, add in some more emoji. I think there's three more that I'm able to add in. I don't know if anyone's got any uh suggestions or things that you would uh, you would like to see spammed in the uh, in the chat a bit more then um yeah i can do that uh yes yeah, so i think if i do one more table and chair let me line this up along here so we're definitely going to fit all of these back in 
Because I think having just two tables would be like kind of not enough. A poo shrine emoji. Oh, I don't know if I want to give the uh, the chat that power to be able to spam poo all of the time. Because one of the things I wasn't sure was like, like it's what I've been avoiding so far is doing like too much like personal jokes in terms of like, like most of you here know about the poo shrine because you've seen it. But like say in like, I don't know, two months time, if someone clicks on the stream and they've like, they see a poo shrine emoji. I just feel like I'd have to like explain the joke so many times again and again and again. I was trying to keep them like a little bit more general than that. Like same like Sierra said about the potato soup emoji, which would really make me laugh and probably make a bunch of you laugh. But I'm just thinking of like, I don't know, maybe it's okay. Now, now, now maybe there's so many emoji that we can have. I think we can have up to like nine or something. Maybe it's okay to have some of the uh, the more obscure ones uh, as well as kind of like, I wanted like the stuff that's going to like people can use regularly, like hi and bye and lol and stuff and the pets. But yeah, maybe we could do some uh, some other stuff. This, this is, how nice is this looking already? It really matches as well because it's like a lot of green, like the green chairs and then like the green stool and then it's like a kind of green roof, kind of bluey green. It all kind of like fits in quite nice. Uh, a cake emoji could work. I was thinking of doing like a stampy emoji, like a stampy cat. I tried to keep like most of the, I guess, branding, like all of the, uh, the graphics quite free from stampy cat. Just because I'm going to be playing so many different games and um, it's generally a bit of an older audience on the streams compared to the videos. I try to have a bit of separation, but I think it might be cool to, to have that in. Right, there's the uh, there's the candy floss. I might have to... I don't know where the popcorn machine's going to go. Hmm. I might... I might... You know what? I might have the candy floss... And the popcorn machine somewhere else. Or maybe just have one of them here. One because there's not much room. And also because it's just quite a cool thing that I could have somewhere else. What does the popcorn machine look like? Oh, it does look quite cool though, doesn't it? Like, I, I could kind of fit them in somehow. But I might, like, find a, uh, another place. You know what I could do? If I move that there, and I can do the popcorn machine here, and it'll be like slightly covered, but you'll still be able to see most of it. But then, yeah, maybe eventually I'll end up putting them somewhere else. Yeah, I'll put that in like this. Uh, oh, I can't slide it any further that way. Though. Oh, I don't know if it's a bit too covered. Oh, well, there's a present. There's a present in the background. Oh, it takes so long for me to get everywhere. I've got all these fences all over the place now. Where was it going? Present? Present. Oh, it's, it's an easy one. It's in one of the areas I haven't really built in yet, so I can get it easily. I'm not talking to you, Siri. Hey, Siri. Oh. Oh no, I was trying to read it out. It said like, hey Siri, what are the areas? It, it got very confused. Oh, money. That's my, that's my favorite kind of flying present. The money ones. I will do a, I will get my money tree and plant that one soon. I just wanted to, wanted to get my building done first. Thank you White for the, uh, the donation as well as uh, Jesus loves you. Thank you for the other uh, donations. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to fit them both in here. And you know what? That popcorn machine doesn't really fit in either. I think I'm just going to do it as I did it earlier before. Oh, everyone's telling me that I set their Siri off. What if I do this? Hey, Siri. Sorry, I probably just deafened you all. Oh, no, I'm not talking to you. I was joking. Did I, did I set anyone's series off? <laughs> or what about like... Uh... Oh, what's... Uh... Oh, Alexa. Alexa, play Barbie Girl. <laughs> please don't, please tell me that worked for one of you. Then what's the Google one? It's just like Hey Google or something, or Oh, Okay Google. 
OK, Google, subscribe to Stampy Longhead. <laughs> Did it say yours off, Squishy? No. What, what? Is it playing Barbie Girl? Yeah. What, in the bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> it's playing, I got myself with it. It's playing Barbie Girl. Wait, wait. <laughs> Alexa, turn the volume up by six. <laughs> Did it do it? Oh, it's doing it! Is it? <laughs> Did I get anyone else? Oh, I shouldn't do that. That's mean, isn't it? I should. I'm sorry. I apologise, everyone. <laughs> oh, no. To be fair, I was like accidentally like doing it to myself. Matt says my Alexa is so confused. <laughs> Squishy, Squishy was watching the stream in the other room. It's just funny that I was trying to prank all of you and I, I set off my, like, it's my Alexa. I set off my Alexa when I was trying to trick all of you guys. Well, that looks kind of nice for those. Like, that kind of makes it look like that's, like, the entrance way as you walk in through here. Puppy? Did you follow Squishy or you want to come back in? Are you coming back in? Hello puppy! Let's have another go on Snoot, shall we? Stay. Snoot! Yes, that's a good girl! Good Snoot! Stay. Stay. Alex, leave it. 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 Okay. Ah, got my fingers off. All right, let's try and actually remember to, to switch back to the, the gameplay this time. She'll want to leave now. I've run out of a. Uh, <laughs> I've run out of dog treats. I shouldn't have said that out loud. She won't care. She won't care about me anymore. Oh, did not mean to put the uh, the popcorn machine there. I've put the phone box here for now. This will probably end up getting moved, but I wanted to put it somewhere. I've got some flowers that are going to annoy me in my inventory. Let me just go plant them somewhere. I'm always doing this. There's, there's all like random patches of of flowers all around my island for a. Uh, where I'm just getting rid of some flowers for now. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I had the lamp. I don't know if I don't know if the uh, the soft serve lamp is gonna fit in. What I think I might do is on the on the beach. I might have like a, an ice cream stool somewhere. I just don't have any ice cream. There's got to be ice cream in the game though. Like this has kind of become a bit more of my like kind of touristy beach. Like down here I added in like these kind of like plasticky deck chairs and then like the lifeguard place. So maybe like down here we could have like an ice cream stall or something. Uh, let me show you the thing I'm talking about in case you don't know. It's like uh, this thing. So maybe have like a, a snack place down on a beach somewhere. And then there's also the whole beach on the left side of the island. I've not done anything with it. So there's lots of opportunity to to decorate stuff there. So maybe I uh, maybe I shouldn't stress it for now and we'll uh, we'll add it in a uh, add it in somewhere else. Oh, I set your Alexa off but not Siri says a uh, uh, I don't know how I pronounce your name is it, is it Neve GHD maybe? Sierra says to do a good snoot emoji. That would be funny. <laughs> what would that be? <laughs> uh, Molly says, can we see all of your, your villages? I'll, I'll show you them on the map. It took me ages to go around and find them all. So the only new one that I've had in a while is um, is Elvis. Who um, moved over from Squashy's Island. Elvis down here. Then we got Anchovy, who's a legend. Sprinkle, who's a legend. Marina, who's a legend. Henry, who's a legend. 
Ruby, who's a demon. Diva, who's meh, a bit boring. Lobo, who likes sea bass. And then uh, Amelia, who I just never really see that much. I've seen her a few times a day, but she kind of keeps herself to herself. I think she just crafts in her house all day. So I don't really have much of a connection with her either. Uh, right then, what um, what shop, uh, what shops, what clothes should we have on display? So basically we can make like, um, can I make a mannequin with like a, a whole outfit and put it on display? Or can I only like just do um, like individual items? Let's just get some like outfits that look like they might be quite fun. The <laughs> plastic bag. That looks like the uh, the carpet in my arcade. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's let's just work out how we display this. Uh, yeah, mannequins were a thing in New Leaf, but not now, says Abigail. So I know if I just say like, if I just have clothes, I can say like, uh, place item. And then it's kind of like that. But could I, like, add stuff to that? No, it just kind of makes a separate thing. I did, I did, I switched the car. I said I'd switch the carpet. I'll switch it out every week. Yes, yeah, so I don't think I can make a... I don't think I can make combinations of them, can I? Right, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna need a table then. I'm gonna I'm gonna need a table, like a hat table, to display the hats, and then I have a few of just like maybe like kind of like the full body outfits, I guess, which is a bit annoying. Right, so so last time the tables like I didn't really care too much what they looked like, but the clothes shop's a bit fancier, so I feel like I need a bit more of a fancy table. Like, the one with all the storage in wouldn't really make sense for outside. Maybe a green table would look good. Don't have a green table in here. Maybe if I, um, make one of these tables green. And I could display the hats on them, like, along the front could look okay. Seeing as we've gone for, like, the green star with the other star. Do you think that would look okay? I'm just looking for customization kits. There they are. I also, I'm gonna make it. I know. I know. I said I was done with the shop. I want to make a change. You know, I put that flower on the log stool. I want to put it on this table instead. I want to switch that round. Uh, I think Label gives you a mannequin when she decides to expand uh, to your island. Oh, really? That would be awesome if she does that. She hasn't done that yet, though. <laughs> so I don't have one. <laughs> but if she does do that, that would be really cool. Uh, what are my opinions on turnips in the stalk market? Uh, I think it's cool. I think it's quite like a... I like the stuff that... Um, you're kind of forced to do as a community. Like, you can do them by yourselves. But for, for that kind of stuff, it really... Is better if you all work together. To... Um, to, to share prices and stuff. And I, I like it when like, I can invite someone to my island to, so they can sell their stuff and they invite me to theirs. You, you know what, some of these are uh, these iron things. Oh, if I had a nice iron table, that, that they're, they're quite stylish. That would fit in quite nicely. I really need to upgrade my bedroom, by the way. I think I'm gonna go for that bed. Has this got any custom, oh, th that is customizable. I don't know if I can see how I can customize it though. I, I, I really want, like, the longer table. Let, let's just try this out and see how it looks. Uh, no updates on the uh, the Discord, I'm afraid, Kaylee. It's just a glitch. It's, it's something messing up with Discord. It keeps saying that my YouTube page isn't connected. Like, isn't, like, linked. And then when I go to the page where you need to link them, it says it is linked. And then when I go back out, it's like, you, you know, it's like, nothing is linked with the, the Discord. And then I go, okay, connect it. And it'll be like... Yep, YouTube's connected. 
so I don't really know what to, to do, I'm afraid. You know what? I think I'm gonna get like a... <laughs> I'm gonna get like... Because this whole area looks quite nice. I think I'm gonna put down less of like the uh, the jokey clothes and more of the uh, the actual nice clothes. So I think, <laughs> rather than the paper bag <laughs> and the uh, the frog hat. I think I might put down some of the, the nicer stuff. <laughs> So I'll see what else I have, and then, like, you're constantly getting new clothes. I can just add more things. Like, this looks quite stylish. Uh, maybe one of these, these raincoats. And then maybe for the hats, the fedora looks quite cool. And maybe that one. Then maybe that we could do, like, some shoes on display somewhere would be cool. Uh, Hunter says, uh, do you donate to, to charity? Uh, I do. Uh, I'll be honest, it's mainly, um, like, animal charities, like the Blue Cross and stuff, like a lot of, like, animal rescue places I donate to. And also give money to, um, there's charities that, like, work in places like China to, uh, to help, like, rescue dogs and stuff from slaughterhouses. And I donate to them as well. Right, I gotta pull this forward just so I can place things on the front of it <laughs> and then push it back again. I think like maybe two of the hats, maybe two like full body ones, like the clothes, and then like the shoes as well, maybe. Uh, I kind of want to see what the shoes look like when they're they're placed down. Yeah, so maybe we could have this here, and then another little table here with the shoes, like right in front of the shop. And then maybe some of the uh, the other mannequins here. Let's try the, uh... oh no, don't wear. <sighs> Keep pressing the wrong thing. Place item down. Yeah, if I could do like mannequins and do like full outfits, I think that would look really cool. But I just don't know if I can do that yet. What's the, uh, the magical dress? Oh, so it's all looking too, like... It's all looking too... I, I might get rid of this one. It's just looking very grey. I want a bit more colour here. Oh, yeah. Let's do the let's do the noble coat. There we go. Now we've got a bit more colour. And it's green. It fits in with the rest. What was the, the suit of light? Okay, that's a bit... That's too many. That's too... Actually, I might do that. Instead of that other one. So I like the, the full body ones. It looks more like someone's actually made a full display. Sorry, I know I'm being very picky about this. But hey. It's what we're here for, right? There we go. That looks quite nice. And then yeah, I might do another... Well, let me see what shoes look like when they're displayed. And whether they'd look good as well. Hello, Spacey. Oh, what's this mystery? She's brought in a mystery. Oh, it's got a bit off because she made it a couple of hours ago. <laughs> Thank you, my love. Oh, puppies. I think she's going to get up now. Oh, yeah, she was. She had settled down in her bed. I'm going to take you toilet in a bit, aren't I, puppy? Uh, What would be some... Uh, some good shoes. Guess we do. Uh, we do these slippers, and then these ones will do. Let's just see what they look like when they're they're placed out. Oh, so they're literally just placed on the ground. They they have nothing like on them or anything. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make uh, another one of those tables or at least like uh, customize another one of those tables and do it green again. But then I, I reckon later on in the future I will get a, a table that will fit in a little bit better and then I can switch them out. But for now at least they're green so at least they like they match in. 
Do I have another one of those tables already on me? Oh no, that's the other type of table. Oh, maybe I need to, to craft a whole other one. Oh no, yeah, I got a blue one here. Alright, let's uh let's dye this one green. I think this one was in my um my bathroom before. Yeah, we'll put the shoes on here. I might have another little check in the, the shop, because I can't remember um, what it is. Uh, I'm glad you're enjoying the, uh, the stream, Graceless. Hope you're doing good. Oh, is this going to fit in, actually? It looks like it will, but uh, sometimes it can be a bit weird with those fences, the way they block. Oh, this is perfect! This, is, this looks almost like... <laughs> Almost like I designed it and planned ahead, which I promise you, I did not do. <laughs> well, this looks nice. Oh, look at this whole little area here. Like I don't really have room to like add much more in. I don't, I don't think we need to look at any more clothes. I, I, I like this uh, this little selection, and we can always like switch things out and like make them look a uh, make them look different when we want. Actually, no, I know what I need to wear for this one. This is my fanciest part of my area now. I need to have my my fancy pants outfit. When I come down here and drink my tea with my little finger sticking up in my little fancy pants area. <laughs> Hello to, to Judo. Thanks for watching the stream. Right then, let's, uh, let's do a little walk by of everything we created today. So this is what we've just done. Unless you've literally joined right now, you've probably seen me doing this all already. Here's the plaza! Here's the museum! Yes, this is a giant lump of poo in case you didn't see it. <laughs> then moving along, here's the, the shop. Ah, oh, I love my town so much more now. So yeah, the thing I was going to change, hopefully it will still fit in okay, is I really like this table, I think, really fits in with the all over the place style that we have here. Just because I have those log stools all over the place, they kind of stand out as like, oh, that's the log stool. <laughs> so here we go. This is all of the, uh, not all of the decorations I intended to, to get done to, today, but at least uh, at least most of them. Anyway, I'm going to have to have a very short break. I will be back. I was going to end the stream there, but I won't because this little puppy here is going to need the, uh, is going to need to go to the toilets. It's been quite a while. So I'm going to go take her wee uh, and then, uh, Oh yeah, it'd be like five minutes or so, maybe a bit less than that. And then we'll, we'll carry on. I won't carry on for too much longer, but there are a few other things that I wanted to get done today in stream. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll come back uh, in a moment and, uh, and do that. Uh, if you've been watching for a long time, make sure uh, if you've been sitting down the whole time that you stand up. Uh, give your legs a little bit of a stretch, maybe get something to, to drink, get a glass of water. And we will reconvene here in moments uh, and carry on where we left off. So right, talk to you in a bit. Enjoy the music.
I'm only joking by the way guys, I know my mic is muted. I saw, I saw like, I come back, I think people forget that I can read the chat. When I, when I came back, there was so many people, like, 50% of the comments were people saying, pretend the mic is muted, pretend we can't hear him when he gets back to prank me. So I thought if I come back and my, <laughs> my mic is actually muted, <laughs> then everyone will be saying as a joke, your mic's muted. They're like, oh, his mic is actually muted. So you try to prank me and I pranked you. One nil, one nil, one nil. Right, okay. We will uh, carry on <laughs> with, uh, with where we left off. So for those that weren't here, those that have just jumped in, uh, we have redecorated the town. We have got our tea slash clothes shop. I might change this sign. This sign is so ugly. It looks so ugly. It really kind of ruins the area. You know, I'm getting rid of it. I'm going to get rid of it. I'll, re I'll redesign it. I'll do a better design for it, maybe. And we can make the whole place nicer. Uh, but it doesn't really make sense anymore, because originally it was like... <laughs> it's so everyone's like, oh, you got us. You got us. <laughs> People are saying, we can't see you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. You're just getting desperate now. <laughs> yeah, people, um... It doesn't really make sense having just the tea signs. It used to be a tea shop and then a shop. Now it's just one thing. Maybe I should just leave it without a sign. It looks pretty nice anyway. Yeah, we did that. And then we did the... The museum. Well, that puppy. Welcome back. Did you have a little wee-wee in the garden? Yes, you did. And then, yeah, we did the this shop as well, which is like... Purposefully, a bit like a garage sale, kind of, or like a yard sale, I think, um, in America they call it. Where you have your yards, we have our gardens and our front gardens, you have yards. So our yards! Is your yard, is that the front or the back? In America, what is, uh, what is it? The yard's the back garden, right? Is that right? And then, is it front yard, maybe? Maybe that's how it works. Uh, we call it by oh okay so oh, oh yard is the front oh both a lot of people are saying both uh, right then oh yeah so the other thing that I was gonna do so the reason I wanted to do it so I won't stream for much longer I got lunch ready I got ginger nut biscuits that I can make look like my face um I just I, there's just an incline that I wanted to build. And I got so many inclines today. I knew I wanted to do it today, so it would be ready for for tomorrow. Look how much money I got now. Look at that. I mean, it looks like loads. It's like a million bells in my saving balance. But like, so much of that is going to go down by me destroying and doing new inclines. And I got to pay back my my house. There's no real rush for it now. Now I've got most of the uh, the upgrades. It's just nice just seeing like loads of bells <laughs> in the bank like that, even if they're they're all gonna disappear very quickly. Uh, right, so those that were have been here for almost three hours would have seen the uh, the incline next to my orchard. Um, and I need another incline to take it like right to the the very top. So I just, I just thought I'd do that now on stream so we can kind of work out to, together exactly how we want that area to, to be. So like every single day now I'm either going to be building an incline or destroying an incline just to get ready for the, uh, the future. So let's make an incline. And then so I was either, so the last one was a white plank ramp and I didn't know whether I was going to do two white ones or a white one and then a blue one. Oh, it is very blue. I do like that blue color. Oh, I don't know. So there's a white one already. It's either going to be white, white or white, blue. And then at the top is a picnic area. I might do the blue. Should we do this might be a good time for a poll. This might be a good time to, to do a poll for this. And you can, uh, you can help me decide. Right, what color incline so just bear in mind that there's already a white one so it's either going to be double white or white blue i i was i was pretty much set on definitely doing a white one but now i'm not sure and when not sure i will let us decide as a group so i'm putting a poll which is going to be in the in the chat uh, if you want your vote to be counted don't just type it in the chat click on the the link and then click on either white or blue, press vote, 
whichever gets the majority, will be the one that I end up building. Uh, there are all other types, which I've, I'm going to be using in different parts of the island. But for, for this bit, it's just between white plank ramp, ramp or blue plank ramp. All right, I'll put, the, uh, put it in the chat a few more times, give everyone a chance to, to get the vote in. And then we will uh, select the winner. All right, give you like 10 more seconds. There should be uh, enough time. I'm not sure who's going to win. Like, they both look really nice. I feel like white's the obvious option. Especially because there's all white flies or flower, uh, flowers around there. But the blue one might look nice. And it's not permanent. Like, I could end up demolishing it and changing it. But then I have to pay like... Was it like 30,000 bells or something to destroy them and then like repay to place them and it takes time as well so like it would be a uh, <laughs> it would be nice if uh, if we get it right first time well so far the most posted of all the comments are white says martin yeah i mean that might be an indication that people are voting white but like writing in the comments doesn't do anything <laughs> if you want the vote to, to count you got to do it in the poll like i can't sit here with a checklist to like count down everyone Okay, all right, I'm gonna look at the results. Let's see what it is. And the winner is... White! 57% say white, 43% say blue. I'm actually surprised. Alex, you stay away from my lunch. But over, over here, but let me show you what's over here. I got like, I don't even know what it is. I won't look, maybe this will be how we end the stream. We'll, we'll reveal what my mystery lunch squishy made is. It's like it's hidden under a bowl and Alex is sniffing at it. Anyone have any, any guesses what it's going to be? My guess is a cupcake. That's what I hope it is. Anything other than a cupcake and I'm going to be disappointed. Right, I'm not even sure exactly where this is going to be placed or even like which angle. So let's go and uh, go back to, to build mode. And go just. I might change the uh, the name of the uh, the outfit to, to building time. So for everyone who voted blue, it was pretty close. It was quite close to to 50-50. So people were saying potato soup. Thank you to uh to LPD Ninja for the other uh, donation. It says uh keep up the great videos. You are awesome. I've been watching for for years. Oh thank you so much. Glad you've been uh, enjoying the uh, the videos and the streams. Yes, yeah, so this was uh, was Ewan, who uh, came into the island to hang out the other day, recommended to suggest the the one name from Let's Build to Building Time, which just seems to make the most like it would be a great name for it anyway, even if it wasn't like a reference to a series. Although I am worried that like uh, oh yeah oh I've got to be out this outfit. The only things I'm worried about every time I switch to the outfit is going to make everyone be like, Bring back building time! When are you going to bring back building time? <laughs> That's my only worry. Maybe it's a bad idea. Should probably uh, get rid of all of these clothes in my pockets as well. I brought all of the, uh, the money with me as well, by the way, just so we can... Uh, I just want to completely pay off this incline today. Then it will be there tomorrow. And then I need to demolish two more inclines and then build four more. So that's going to be like, it's going to be like over a week until all of the inclines are in place for how I need them to be. But I can carry on doing other stuff uh, while we're waiting for that to, to be done. Cynthia says a cake that has your face. I know Squashy's watching the stream. Squashy, is that what you made for, made for, made me, yeah, made me for lunch? Did you make me a cake with my face on it? <laughs> she did actually say she was thinking of doing some baking today. I don't think she ended up doing it. I don't think she'd bake me a cake with my face on. Alex is having a little... I don't know, whatever, whatever she's doing. Oh, how do I change the... Uh... How do I change the name? Oh, there we go. I just got to do this and we'll do it. There you go. So every time I switch to the outfit, we'll just go building time. 
Just like this. Oh, didn't mean to do this. I'm still not 100% set on my uh, on my kitchen. And my bedroom, I've basically like, I've thrown the items down in there. It has a bed and stuff. But I basically haven't uh, decorated it at all. So maybe uh, while I'm moving all of these inclines and stuff, I think maybe my next stream will probably be doing the uh, the editing that I need to do for the poo shrine area and then also decorating my bedroom, I think, are two uh, major projects. So yeah, this is the, the first incline. So I think it won't let me do the, uh, the next incline just going straight up again. I think because it's getting higher, it would need to be like slightly in. And I don't know how that would like look. It might not look very good. But I guess I can try it out. I can like imagine it and then like I'll see it like appear and I can kind of judge to see how it looks. Right, so this, this area I know is all going to be completely filled up. So let's just get all of this built up here now so it's all ready. And then I'm, I'm going to try doing the double inclines going straight up. I think it won't let me. And then if it doesn't, I might do it maybe so you go up to that lower level along here for a bit. And then maybe go like on a right angle back up. Could it look okay? I don't know. I guess we just try out a few different like angles and ways to, to have it. And just see what like what looks good. And then also what gives me like a decent, like it's this, this isn't a very big area, but I want at least a decent amount of space at the top. Uh, this is basically just going to be like a, kind of like a, a nice hangout slash like picnic spot. Uh, I've made like a picnic basket I'm going to put up here and just will just be like a, a nice place to come here and look out at the, the ocean. Kind of like what most places in Animal Crossing are, uh, Animal Crossing are, just a nice place to hang out. So the thing is, it's not going to let me build up mountains on the edge here. It's gonna like tell me, see I just go like, woo, and just like, don't dig anything. So say if I like, build these up. Then let me just stand right by the other one. And let me just make sure it won't let me, because if it does let me, that would be perfect. But I'm assuming it won't. We're gonna have to work something else out. Uh, I mean, that's not where I wanted it to go. Let me let me go like here and try it. Uh, if it's too close to an incline like this, it will block the flow of traffic. Oh, oh, so oh, does it need to be like one bit further back here? Even further back. Maybe we need to break this away a bit. So that would work, but it's kind of like, it's a bit weird how it's kind of like, kind of like that. I mean, that's an okay spot, but I think we can pretty do better. Let me see if I can now this is here. If I go this way a bit, if I can go straight up. I don't think, no, it says it's always just going one side either way. Hmm. Do you think have this bit flat and then have it go on a right angle up here? I mean, we could try and do it like, can't, you can do like, di how do you do diagonal inclines? That's something I haven't experimented with. I have a question, burn the wall or burn the wall? Everyone always asks that. So the way... I wrote the lyrics and the way it was intended was wall as in the walls of a building wall spelt w-a-l-l -L. that was the intention it just happened to be a wall made of wool <laughs> so whatever interpretation you want to take I won't call it incorrect that wasn't my intentions how do I do how do I do diagonal inclines you can do them right can you do diagonal inclines is that a thing? Your accent just confuses. So that's why I spelled out. 
You can't? Can you not do diagonal inclines? Is it just bridges you can do diagonal then? Oh, you can't do them! Oh. Okay. That's uh, limited our options a bit. So I might do it so... Like, I really love this area. This area. I think just like this corner here looks really nice. I think it's just... I think the flowers like add a, a lot to it. I'm pretty sure you can do... I, th I think you can do like... Yeah, you can do... Di I, I saw... The thing, I saw someone's world with like diagonal bridges. And I was like, that's cool. I didn't have any place to do it, but I really wanted to do like two diagonal inclines. But now I know you can't do that. Like that's not affecting this area too much. But like the uh, the area that I was going to do by the rock garden doesn't really work. Oh, hey Raider. Uh, what am I building? So, um... Just some inclines. So this is just like a little mountain. Earth. This is by the Pooh Shrine. Let me go out here and show you where I am. So then up here, like this area here, is just going to be like a little picnic spot, just with a nice view. So I'm just doing a couple inclines so you can reach it up to the, the top. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of working out how to, to fit the, uh, the next incline in. There's loads of ways I can do it, it's just what like would look nice. Because I can't like dig into the right there. I think I might do it so it like one goes up because I don't I don't I didn't like it when they were like um where's my props <laughs> when they were like one ramp like that and then one like slightly off to the side and if I did them like that that's quite a lot of space taken up for nothing so I think I'll do like one incline up like that and then one up like side on like that which means there'll be a, a long like flat area along here. But that's okay. Kind of might add to like the design a little bit. Oh, have you not seen the Poo Shrine Raider? Let me show you. Uh, let me show you Poo View Bridge. This is Poo View Bridge where you have the. Uh... Oh no! Oh, the Poo Shrine. Oh, the Poo Shrine's not complete right now. We're we're dismantling the Poo Shrine. I mean, let, 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 let me show you what my town looks like now. This will be a good uh, recap for. For those that weren't here earlier as well. But I've been decorating like outside the front of the, the shops. So this is this is my shop here now. Just all this random stuff all over the place. And this is the museum. Here's the poo. And then I've made like the, the clothes shop. So it's to like uh, the clothes shop and then like tea area. is like one big thing. It looks really nice. Now it's um the, the sun started going down in the game. I think it's starting to look even nicer. Right, let's uh, let's imagine what it will uh, will look like with the the way I suggested it. So this is built in as much as it can here. So you're going to go up here, and then here is where it's going to dig into the other side. It's quite cool as well because of the incline. It might give you a bit more of like a view out to this to like the side as well. It's beautiful, says Soldier. <laughs> Come on, I can build it here, right? Why don't you even let me build it here? Is it because do I need to like dig this away first? I thought it would just like get rid of it for me. Uh, did you know you can pick a, a, a mailbox, says Michelle? I did know that. But I haven't actually decorated my house, like, at all. I've just left it, like, as it was. So I still I still need to do that. Ignore this area at the top here, by the way. This is all, like, the stuff that I just threw up here when I was clearing out the area from there. Yeah, maybe I'll do that on another stream, is, like, really uh, decorate the outside of my house. Uh, the Trends and Movies uh, says, 
Can I do a uh, Bed Wars in Minecraft? So I, I have done a few streams of Bed Wars, but it always ended not very well. One, because I wasn't very good. Because <laughs> I'm not very good at PC Minecraft. Uh, and also, um, just because of stream sniping. It just got too much. Even if you disguise your name, people like can work out who you are when you're watching the stream. And it made it, um... Yeah, it's made it quite unplayable. Like, I tried doing it with Squid, and literally at the beginning, like, four teams would rush us from different styles, and we just couldn't play anymore. So, uh, I pretty won't try it again. I have been thinking about, like, just because people ask for Minecraft so much, like, other things I could stream in Minecraft. Uh, let me, uh, let me imagine it. <laughs> I mean, I can't really see it. <laughs> like, is that okay? I don't, I don't know if it's weird where it's, like, right on the boundary, but I suppose it's not taking up too much room. What do you think? Should I do it? I'm tempted just to do it. Just because then, like, I don't need to spend any more time deciding. It's good. It's good. Is it? Is it good? Is it okay? Keep it there. It looks good. It looks good. Okay, enough people said it looks good. This is a good spot. I've done it. I've pressed it. It's done. It's committed. The thing is, now I'm, like, getting some good, like, turnip prices and that. Like, I'm less worried about the bells. It's more about, like, having to demolish it and rebuild it somewhere else. So then we can keep the flowers going around here. This cliff here, I'm going to do, like, curved off. And then I can do this one curved. Oh, steady. That one curved off. And then curve off down here uh, as well. And then, so uh, here I'm doing stone pass, but I think leading up to here, I might do a uh, sand, I guess. Or even a dirt, I might even do like a dirt path. Just to go crazy. I just want to separate because I've mainly done a, I think I'm going to change this dirt, uh, sand path to something else as well. So I've mainly used um, sand in the Zen garden. And this is kind of like on the boundary of the Zen garden zone. But I kind of want this to be more like uh, more like parky in terms of like, you know, like a local, like a normal park. But like a really, really nice one. That's more the uh, the style I'm going for this area. And less like, uh, like more Western, less Japanese. So... Uh, I feel like this will be okay, but we'll keep these tulips going around the outside. I've got tulips just planted all around my island from when I had to destroy this before. So I add in more of those candles and stuff that I've added from this cliff. Uh, but then on the top of the island, I can kind of decorate it in different styles. So I think maybe like back here, I'll have a picnic basket here. The poo shrine will be gone. And then maybe something else here as well, like just some other decorations. Maybe a statue here would be nice. There's just like a very small area, maybe like a bench at the, the back there as well. There's just another little cute mini hangout place that's uh, high up. Uh, we can pay this off now though. Thank you to uh, Nose Goes Frog Vlog slash Dab Youngster for the other uh, donation. Uh, the Trace Movies ask what's the name of the song uh, when you do the Be Back Soon Street. It's just from royalty free music I bought. Uh, I never give out the. Uh, the names of the songs when people ask, just because um, otherwise everyone like uses the the same music <laughs> as me, and then like it, uh, you kind of keep hearing the same song everywhere. Uh, yeah, but it's not like a song I had made or had any uh, any part in making that. I spend a lot of time like for my videos and the uh, the stream music, intro sounds and stuff. I spend a lot of time picking those songs though, because it's like all songs of like different styles and genres, but like hopefully kind of like all fit in together and kind of have a, a similar style and kind of fit in with the uh, the happy but hopefully slightly chilled out um, kind of mood of the, the streams, which, which is uh, what I try and go for. Whether I achieve it is, uh, is debatable, but I think we generally uh, have a good enough time here, don't we? The music gives good vibes. It does. All right, let's uh, throw, yeah, so th these are some of the um, the tulips. I'm trying to breed more uh, pink tulips. And I'm going to have them, like, scattered throughout. You know, like I did, if you saw, in my, like, main Zen garden with the white roses with a few pink ones. I love that. 
So I'm going to kind of do the same things but with the, the tulips. So all these ones here, I'm trying to get some more pink tulips. That's why these are all spread out like this. I do need to do my watering today. I haven't done any other watering any of my uh, my stuff. I haven't even done like my rocks or anything yet. I got my money trees. Like I've been playing Animal Crossing for three hours. How have I still not done like all of that basic stuff? Oh, I didn't mean to speak to you. So there we go. That will be uh, that will be in tomorrow, and then that means this whole area I won't need to be moving up and down with my ladders anymore, which will be very handy. Wait, this stream is still live? Someone says, yep, I'm still going. We're, we're probably drawing to the end, though. I still have my my mystery lunch reveal. So I've got to have my uh, my lunch soon. And my camera's no doubt going to overheat, which is normally a, a safe sign that I've been streaming too long. There we go. I've made it like somewhat uh, presentable this uh, this area of the uh, the island now. And then um, yeah, so I think next stream uh, next stream we'll probably be playing a different game. But then when we come back to Animal Crossing, I'll probably decorate this area, change the poo shrine to what it's going to be, and then maybe decorate the uh, the outside of my house. I think that would be enough to do a stream. Like I was going to do some of that stuff today, and uh, yeah, took uh, way more time. Fingers crossed I'll have a, a good week with uh, with turnip prices and be able to get enough bells to do all of my future endeavours that are all safely locked up in prison right now. And I have my guard dog who's inside of here watching them all. Uh, yeah, that's going to be the uh, the end of it though. That's going to be the uh, the end of all of the, the decorations. Super happy with what I ended up doing today. And even after the stream, I'm going to... Oh, well, that's perfect timing, isn't it? <laughs> even uh, after the, the stream, I'm going to... Um, Carrying on Animal Crossing, doing all of my my daily chores that I didn't quite get a uh, get round to, to doing to today. So it looks like after about like what I need to do is uh if I've been doing a longer stream, I can flat down the little camera just so I can't see myself in it, and then it probably won't overheat. Oh no! You can't see the uh you can't see my lunch reveal. Yeah <laughs> yeah yeah. Maybe if I maybe if I wait for just like thirty seconds. It will just maybe if I just turn it on, we'll get just a second of a of lunch reveal. <laughs> oh, what bad timing! What bad timing! I'll sit down for a uh, a cup of tea in my newly newly decorated tea shop. I love the way everyone's so upset for the lunch reveal. It's literally just seeing what I'm having for lunch. <laughs> Right, I'll sit down for a a cup of tea for a bit. Right, let me try turning. Okay, I'll get the lunch ready. I don't want my camera to explode. Let me turn this on. Is it gonna? Oh, is the camera coming on? Let me see if it's well. Let me see if you can see. I can see it. I don't know if you can. Oh, there we go. Okay. Right, lunch reveal. Before the camera overheats. <gasps> we have a wrap, hummus. Crisps and pretzels. It's a falafel wrap with sweet chili. That's the real. That's the big reveal. There we go. The lunch has been revealed. I'm gonna end the, the stream now before the uh, oh Alex is sh showing up promptly now. Food's about. Oh uh, yeah, it's gonna be into the stream here. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, yeah, I'll see you at some time during the the week, maybe if you're around. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later, guys. Bye.